All right. Are we all good to go? Uh, I believe so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Well, let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to be doing some you Star Wars. <laughs> we're going to be doing some Star Wars uh, burning wheel stuff. Um, let's see here. The first thing I want to talk about is I just want to make sure, like, I think we're all on the same page in the general concept, right? Um, playing Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars or, you know, around the Mandalorian Wars, however that shakes out. Um, but I want to make sure that we have... Um, there were agreeing on a few like uh, of the fundamental factors of that era and like where we're going to start within that timeline there. Um, so the two two main things that I'm thinking of that we need to just settle real quick is um, one, where exactly in this timeline are we starting? Do you guys want to be because there's uh, so in, in the in the legend old legends canon that I'm pulling from for this era. Uh, the Mandalorians on the kind of uh, outer rim of the galaxy have been, uh, they start attacking, they kind of get more organized than they were before, and they start attacking outer rim systems that aren't in the Republic yet. Uh, They do this for a few years to kind of, uh, you know, test the galaxy's strength and see, you know, kind of get organized and whatnot. And then they attack the Republic uh, in full force. Um, So there is a few years there where the Mandalorians are evading people and attacking people, but are not directly in conflict with the Republic yet. And then there's a period there where they're attacking the Republic, but the Jedi haven't joined yet. And then there's the period where the Jedi have joined and they're starting to push them back. Right. So those are the three main time periods I could see us starting in. It really just depends on where you guys are, what what you guys are more interested in, in terms of your characters, what you want to be interacting with in the setting and what you want to be able to accomplish in the setting, right? Um, I think the first thing that I posted in, or the, the thing that I posted in the, the Discord that seemed to to grab a few people is the whole Revan just stuff, um, right? The idea that the Jedi uh, are being reluctant to join the war, and then there's, in, in the Legends canon, or, you know, where Knights of the Old Republic gets its lore and stuff from, uh, Revan, right? The Jedi Revan uh, is the one who creates a schism in the Jedi Order and leads a bunch of Jedi to go fight the Mandalorians with the Republic. Um, so part of this will be the question of like whether or not uh, there was a Revan character. If we just put Revan in the game as an NPC and you guys have followed him, or if one of you wants to be the Revan figure, that would kind of change things. But we could go there if we really wanted to. Um, or if we don't want there to be quite as popular a Revan figure in this version of it, because like, we're, we're rewriting the canon. That's kind of the purpose of this, right? It's like we're kind of making it our own. We're, we're going to figure out however we want it to look. Um, so I'm curious what you guys are most interested in. Um, I know that like Josh is and wants to be a Jedi ambassador. So one thing I was thinking is like, do you want to be in that like pre-Republic period, like the, the, the period right before the Republic actually gets attacked? Where you're trying to, you know, like, do you want to be this person who's trying to stop the Mandalorian Wars from even occurring in the first place? Or would you rather be like, we got to go talk to them after the war has already started? Like, I- I'm curious, based on what you guys' concepts kind of already are, where we're leaning. So, open... I think the I think the war should ha- already have started. Mm-hmm. Just because of what I want my character to do, unless, like... I don't know, maybe what's going on right before the war starts? Like, what's the state of, So, like, the is it just is, tense? Is it like a cold war? Yeah, the Republic is rebuilding after their fight with, like, a bunch of Dark Jedi, like, 20 years ago. Um, and they don't want to risk that rebuilding and era of prosperity. They're starting to enter by attacking the Mandalorians. The Mandalorians are doing a good job of not only hiding their true aggressiveness, but also attacking systems that the Republic does not have a vested interest in yet. So that, you know, the Republic, you know, if, if they if they fancy themselves, I'm sure they do, you know, fancy themselves as the protectors of the galaxy, they don't really actually care about systems that aren't in the Republic. So, uh, right. and that ends up being part of their downfall is that they don't treat the Mandalorians as a real threat because they're like, nah, they're just attacking systems that we don't own. So it's not it's not so much of a cold war as the Republic is ignoring them slash doesn't understand the real threat that they are. But at this point, at that point, um, Revan is just a normal Jedi doing just regular Jedi stuff, right? Exactly. Yeah. It, it, during that period, like it's only after the Republic and the Mandalorians start fighting in earnest and things start getting really bad 
like the Mandalorians are winning that mm-hmm. the, that that starts happening because the Jedi don't want to join for various and sundry reasons. Um, which yeah. we'll, we can get into as we play and stuff, right? But um, uh, the Republic, um, or sorry, like Revan wants to join because he's like, otherwise, like the Republic is doomed, and so are all of these innocent people who are getting caught, caught in the crossfire. So, okay. Yeah, per- personally, to me, the most interesting thing is if like the first um, planet or system or whatever uh, in the Republic has been attacked. Like if it's like that makes fun. Yeah. That makes sense to me. You know, that's like a good like um, Kickstarter to something. Yeah, let me let me. But check. that's just my two cents. Yeah, I think that's Terrace. I believe. Um, let me let me check that real quick because if if it is Terrace, then I have a pretty good idea of what this will look like. Um, the Nazis invading Poland, or would it be earlier than that? <laughs> uh, it would be. I don't know if there's a direct parallel here. Like when did there. I guess the question is when did uh, uh, it's probably more like the equivalent of when um, Japan bombed uh, Pearl Harbor and then we started caring. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, don't care until it affects us. But by then it's too late. Um, so if we made a nuke. Let's see. Is it Sirocco? No, no. I think it is Terrace. Yeah. 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 Um. That seems interesting. Yeah, so I, so I did. I actually just started reading um, the old uh, Knights of the Old Republic comic series to kind of get get in the mood. Oh, cool. Um, of course you did. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there, I'm I'm reading about a Jedi right now on Terrace, which is like the main the, the planet you start on in the Kotor games. Yeah. Um, and I believe, yeah, yeah. This is what happens. Okay, in in canon, what happens is there's like a thing that happens on uh terrace and the jedi happen to pull out of terrace and it's like an important kind of trade world near in, in the outer rim and then the mandal as soon as the jedi go, uh, leave terrace the mandalorian swoop in and attack attack terrace so uh, that that seems fun to me um that like we could even like have you guys be on terrace right when either when or maybe you like uh yeah I, I, up to you guys how you want that to shake out but it, it could be fun to have the inciting incident literally be the 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 planet is under attack <laughs> and you guys got to figure out what you're doing right um that could be a fun inciting incident i mean and that would make sense why we are um for this war if we're yeah. there right yeah. we're like uh we've seen this this but is are we all? a real threat well yeah it depends <laughs> you might not right. be <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't know i think um, my guy my character is yeah so that that's another thing we do need to consider is what ties all of you together if if that's and, and you know it could literally be as simple as you all were uh it, it will depend on what the life paths shake out to be but you could all be jedi from the same like jedi enclave or whatever jedi academy or whatever on terrace that existed uh cuz there was one um and then you're all together there when the, the attack happens and you all are you know we we play out the inside the incident and have you all r- try to escape terrace together that could be the thing that ties you together but but then it's possible we get to a point where if you do like vehemently disagree with each other on what to do about the war, then you split ways, which I don't know if we want that. Um, Star Wars feels like, you know, a lot of burning wheel games. You can have like a lot of split party stuff like that. But I, Star Wars typically feels like a quest thing, right? Where you're like, you're all together doing something. Yeah. Um, But I, I'm fine with that as like an inciting incident. If you guys are, we would just have to figure out exactly what that's going to look like. So we're basically like the people at the Jedi Embassy of on Terrace, or is it a Republic? It's a Republic planet. Uh, there was a Jedi Academy on Terrace, and obviously we can we can change this if we want to. But um, based on the original lore, I there's believe... just like a there are Jedi stationed on this planet, is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Jedi stationed on the planet. It looks like there's a Jedi Tower. Oh, that's cool. The Terrace Academy. Okay, yeah. So it's a, it's a satellite academy for Jedi training. Um, so it, and the, but there was also like um you know peacekeeping and stuff that was done on Terrace led by the Jedi Order there. So um so here's a question: if if we want to do that, the in the lore um the Jedi pull out of Terrace and that's what uh incites the attack for the Mandalorians. If that is the case in our lore, then why do you stay behind? Right. I mean, maybe we don't. Maybe we leave, and then like a day after we leave, we hear the news. That could also be it too. I don't. Our ship gets bombed. 
and we're stuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you leave too late for some reason. You're you're in the, that 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 could be interesting, right? You're like the, you're, the you're in the middle of repairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is what happens in many oh, Star Wars movies. I I kind of like that because we can have it be like you're literally like the last ship off Terrace, and and like yeah, like the last Jedi ship that's gonna leave Terrace, um, is like stuck for repairs, and the Mandalorians assume that all the Jedi are gone, right? Like the official report has gone out that the Jedi have left Terrace, but you are the four that have happened to remain just long enough to like be witnesses of the attack. I like that. Because then it's like, you know, you just, ha it's like a, a stroke of, uh, you know, destiny that you happen to be caught in the, in the crossfire there. I definitely like the idea that you're in the middle of the battle, uh, like the, and because I'm pretty sure like Terrace just gets wrecked. So I, I, I think we would set it up with the expectations that you are not going to win the battle of Terrace, <laughs> right? It's going to be you guys trying to get off of the planet as the entire planet is overwhelmed by Mandalorians. Um, but, but then we can move on from there to like, you return to the Jedi council, you tell them what you saw, you're like, okay, we got to go fight them. Right. And then the Jedi council is like, well, <laughs> and you're like, what are you talking about? And then we can go on from there to whatever you guys decide to do. Right. You could stay at, in the, at the Jedi council and try to persuade people to your side. You could go to the Republic immediately to like to help the war effort, whatever you guys want to do from there. Does that mean it's our, like, we're the ones who just, who influence Revan to want to. Like, it could be right. Like that, that's a question that we should we should answer. Um, Revan is a pretty fun, important character in the canon, so I'm fine if we want to keep him in there. But I'm also totally fine if we want to rem remove him from existence and make you guys the Revans of the setting, right? I think I he like could him. be in it. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. We could also just have him in it, but like not necessarily have him be the impetus for it, unless right. you guys fail or something right like <laughs> right like we, we could have him in the background doing stuff uh but he doesn't like i i like the idea that like you could push the lore in such a way that it won't turn out the same way right based on what you guys do but like well know. it doesn't it isn't it that any basically all of the all the jedi that followed revan turned into dark jedi yes that is the the ultimate so we're gonna all be evil it depends, right? I I want to I want to kind of set this up as a sandbox and have it be like, okay, without your intervention, events will play out exactly as they did in the games, okay. right? But but depending on what you do, you could drastically shift that entire narrative, right? Everybody down with that? Yeah, that sounds cool. Cool. Uh, so let's let's talk about what ties your characters together and what your character concepts actually are. Um, you know, you all being Jedi from the same academy makes sense, or at least stationed at the Jedi Tower in Terrace. Uh, whether or not you like were trained here and have always stayed here, um, let's let's talk about that. Like, anyone have a, an immediate thing that jumps out to them as to why they their character would be there? The Jedi are primarily stationed on Terrace, I think, to um, be. I mean, it's a, it's an important like outer rim trade world. Uh, it's, it was recently brought into the Republic. Um, and so it's pretty important. Um, so I think the Jedi were stationed there to kind of just help out and to like peace keep on the planet. And then there's like an Academy there as well. Right. So, so Padawans are getting training by helping out on the planet. Right. So are we all knights? It depends on your character concept. Um, I, I, with, I think everyone, we're all doing four life paths and it's pretty easy to become a Jedi Knight with four life paths in the system. So okay. I, I doubt. And unless you, you would have to go out of your way to not be a Jedi to not knight. be a knight. Okay. Yeah. If we, you know, in a later game, we could definitely do, and I, I think this would be fun at some point to do a, a game of this where you're all Padawans and only have like two or three life paths. That could be fun. Mm. But, but I think that would be a little bit too brutal for, I think this, like two or three life path Padawans trying to survive the Mandalorian assault of Terrace. That sounds terrible. <laughs> So um, I, I know that like uh, Lissa wanted to be uh, a Jedi pilot. Um, yeah. So like Josh... uh, my life path actually doesn't lead to Jedi Knight. Um, mm -hmm. It goes um, born adrift, Padawan, first mm -hmm. mate, and then star pilot. I do believe that Padawan, the life path Padawan gives you the option to take sworn to the knighthood trait. Yeah, so, it does. Yeah, yeah. So so it's not like you, you just wouldn't have a you wouldn't have spent a lot of time doing regular Jedi Knight stuff. Right. Um, 
And we can flavor that either as you're a Jedi, but like ended up doing a lot more stuff with pilot stuff and not as much with your Jedi training. Or it could literally be like, I'm technically a Jedi, but I haven't been doing Jedi stuff for a while, right? I've been just being a pilot. Um, up to right. you. Never became a master. I mean, hey, there you go. We can have uh, a, a, the easy way to do this for Alyssa is to have her be the person who's supposed to pilot this ship off the planet, right? right. <laughs> she's right. she's the, the person like, who's like, sorry, the ship isn't repaired, <laughs> right? It's repaired. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do I get to character sheet? I don't. Uh, it should be. So if you click on Chad's character, um, click on. Where is that? Uh, I feel like the... my my right. my roll twenty looks really different. What do you see on the right? Um, I see like a chat box and an easel with a paintbrush. Yeah, click on the journal. Oh, little, okay. Little book. Oh, I see. I see. There you go. Yeah, Chad's character, and then as long as you're on the character sheet tab, you should be able to okay. see. Okay. Uh, Sweet. All, and then there's a little, the little mini tabs that go to like character info, stats and skills, all, all that stuff. Where um, yeah, do we'll, I see we'll be the life the, path uh, sheet? The options. Yeah. So, uh, do you have the? I linked the PDF. Yes. I think ah. I did. In the Discord, okay, you might have to it. scroll up, but um, I yeah. think it's in there. I somewhere. see. It. I see. It. Yep, so you'll want to go to that PDF, and then the Star life paths systems. begin on page 32. So that's where we can start. Uh, okay. Josh said he wanted to be a Jedi ambassador. Uh, it sounded like uh, Chad was leaning towards a, a Jedi scientist. Yeah. Uh, Olivia, Is where, that a where thing you? on here? Uh, I, I, you, we could make it happen through the okay. life paths. I don't think there's a Jedi scientist life path, but we could, we could make it happen. Um, Olivia, what are you leaning towards at this point? Because I am new to this, I'm just going to go with straight up Jedi. Straight up Jedi, yep. And there'll be options that you can Jedi. choose as you go to decide what Jedi training you focus on, but yeah. Like, um... Sounds good. <clears throat> straight up Jedi Like, Knight. for example, like, what is this one? Errant Knight? Yeah, Errant Knight is like, I think you, like, leave the Jedi Order for a while. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we can kind of look at, like, what things like require padawan first and then you can like go from there uh, yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah there's, there's different padawan life paths in various settings too so you can they have barkeep but not scientist <laughs> i'm sure there's a scientist type life path um i'm looking through part of it is like i don't know if uh <laughs> Star Wars has ever really cared that much about scientists. Well, so. they did. They did. Uh, they midi-chlorians. have recently. Yeah, midi chlorians. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's true. And cloning and back to t- but like that's true. In I the think newer cloner games, is a life path. <laughs> really, in the, newer, in the newer games, there there's a whole like the whole old like whatever they call it the what do they call it the olden republic? What is there's like thank you made up a new name for it. That's stupid. Um, the, high, the high republic the high republic yeah oh. there's like a whole branch of the jedi that does science stuff okay in yeah. that in that setting let's, uh, let's take a look at monastic setting because that's the one that's like the uh jedi proper um lounge singer <laughs> there's a physician yeah. on here yeah you could be oh. like a doctor right um there's also archivist if you like uh you could be a historian and researcher. Um But these aren't all like uh compatible with Jedi, are they? Um most of them are uh, what what are you referring to? I don't know like uh <laughs> like Senator, like would there be right, a Jedi yes, senator? They they have if they have any particular requirements or restrictions, it will say on the life path. Okay. Um, yeah. you also need to find your way to the life path as well. Um, I could have so. been a senator. Yes, yes. Did you choose not to? Yeah, I chose not to be a senator. Very good. So we'll be we'll be writing these in on the character burner worksheet on your character sheets there. Um, putting these in one at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, does everybody have a character concept down then? So Chad wants to be like a Jedi scientist, um, Alyssa, Jedi pilot, Josh, Jedi ambassador, and Olivia, Jedi knight. Cool. So I would write that there and we can just um, go go from there. Uh, we're going to do four life paths. And so now we choose those. Um, 
Josh, have you had? Do you have your yours picked out already? Uh, I guess I do. Would you read those off for us to give us a kind of walk uh, us through it? Hang on. <clears throat> yes, my life paths are starting off as born afflu- affluent. Okay, rich <clears throat> boy. Yep, I was a rich boy. <clears throat> and then I went and was a Padawan in the military. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I figured that out that I'm actually about nine if I go through all my worksheets, I end up being 29, which would be nine when the previous events happened. I'm thinking that I was born affluent because I was one of the kids that um, whatever his name was. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. When uh, Rel Cash. Yeah. Yes, Rel Cash. Yeah, so that's essentially, a great, yeah, that's a great idea. I was born affluent. Okay, I grew up with Rel Cash and all his cash. Yeah, um, yeah. Love it. I then went as was a Palado- Padawan in the military. Um, so from you became which, a child soldier after all, despite <laughs> became a child soldier after all, Des- yeah. despite her best wishes. Um, but like, not not as much of a probably training with rather than actually like being military I myself. Don't, I don't think there was any conflicts that happened in that. Yeah, era, exactly. So. Because then I I branched out from the military and became more of a military ambassador. It was probably just maybe like even just like if you got into any conflicts at all, it would have been like cleaning up the remnants of whatever that Sith Brotherhood was, right? Yep. So yes, born affluent, Padawan, military, then ambassador. Okay. And then my final life path is spy. Yeah, nice. So what are you thinking for ambassador and spy then? Like what what did you spend your time doing? Um like how to how did probably that like, give, like, give us I'm I'm thinking more like uh, probably going around and being more of a representative of Rel Cash's like view on things of more like a balanced uh, yeah. approach to things and not necessarily like using for um, uh, what's the word for like for your own purposes but like serving the force as it right presents right. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so he's, he's more of a man trying to convince people to go along with that rather than a nice. uh, straight up stab everyone, dabbles yeah. in yeah. everything so he can protect himself, but he is mainly about the words. Cool. Have you, have you had any interaction with the uh, Grey Jedi Enclave that got started by um, uh, Kalos Khan? Hmm. I think I, I, I may occasionally visit them to debate, but <laughs> like we we have different views on things. So yeah, you certainly don't consider yourself out. a Jedi. Yeah, no. Yeah, but so so basically, you consider yourself a Jedi. Like you 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 you're part of the order, um, but yep. you just lean more towards the like we serve the Force. The surf doesn't for, the Force doesn't serve us. Yeah, cool. Like it. And then, what do you spend your time with as, as a spy doing? Did you, like, are you spying on the Mandalorians? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I, th- I think dabbling in a bunch of things like, um, yeah. yeah, he's, he's basically, he, he spent some time trying to convince others to go his way. And then he's also now dabbling in the, well, let's just observe what other people are doing so that we can mm-hmm. prevent them from doing the wrong thing sure. rather than persuade them. So it's kind of cool. a dabbling in both. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, sweet. And then, uh, you were going to play an alien. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I'm going to play a gank. What is that? Uh, a gank is like a... Um, they are usually just wearing full armor. Um, they don't... I think it's very rare that they actually show their physical uh, appearance, but they are essentially a like slightly canine, um, bloodthirsty humanoid species. Um, that almost always have cybernetic implants um, and talk to each other using um, cybernetic like transmissions in the head. Uplinks, nice. <clears throat> yeah, Jet but but back and behind the ear or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, so question for you: uh, Do you have? Do you wear armor? Then are you gonna are you gonna buy yes. some armor? Yes. Okay. No, I right. I specifically went military um, mm-hmm. dude so that training. I could grab armor training. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 
and I'm going to go then, through the forge and you, give me you a were gonna, wings. Right, of course, yeah. But then you were going to like uh, lean away from the aggressiveness of the, the species, right? You're going to be like the yeah. one peaceful gank in the galaxy? Yeah, th that has okay. been the influence on me from Relcash is yeah. like per persuading me against that kind of bloodthirsty instinct. I'm definitely really interested <clears throat> in that because I think like the Mandalorians as like a counterpoint to your philosophy will be really fun. Like you be able to mm. talk to a Mandalorian and be like, let's tell, let me tell you why you're wrong. And the Mandalorians are like, what are you talking about? You're dishonoring your own culture. What is wrong with you? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. And, and it's also going to be interesting to have that, um, the alien trait of like a child of a bloodthirsty culture kind of thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when I don't usually buy into that. And then yeah. occasionally having to like roll otherness to just have like some really terrifying, yeah. horrible thing that I can do. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to take otherness, right? So you're not going to worry. We're not going to worry about. Um, yeah. Dark side lights are, stuff. Lights are dark side stuff for you. It's going to be all about alien stuff. Mm -hmm. cool. um, yes. Uh, probably the most famous thing that the gang have done is like however many hundred years ago, they just straight up massacred an entire race because they were hired to deal with, because some traders were having some complaints. So then they just went, it went over and wiped out a species. <laughs> um, so they get, they're known for being like completely over the top bloodthirsty. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That'll be, that'll introduce some interesting tension. I like it. Um, Chad, what are you thinking? Uh, you'd have a chance to look over those at all. Yeah. Um, none of these, none of these are lining up with what I, what I yeah. want to do. And hey, if we want to, if we want to tweak some of them too, we can. Um, if you find one that's like the closest to what you're thinking of, we can we can tweak some things. Well, I thought it, I found a weapons engineer, and I thought that might apply, oh, yeah. but but it requires military technician. Mm. I, I feel like I can't. I won't be a Jedi Knight if I do that, but I really want to be. Sure. Yeah. So the to be a Jedi Knight, all you have to choose is Padawan. Um, you don't actually have to take the Jedi. Well, we Knight only get path. four, right? Yes, because like yes. each one was requiring something above it. Yeah, well, so. yeah, yeah. Sometimes the 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 path is too much. Um. So let, let's just talk about this uh, a little bit further, kind of, you know, just to generally. So you want to be a you want to basically be like that High Republic Jedi scientist class? Is that what you're thinking? Like, well, you, yeah, you, I kind of wanted him to be. I want my character to be just a regular researcher who who doesn't like the Mandalorians and is secretly trying to find a way to uh, like c counter their armor without like any other Jedi knowing. Cause he, he probably would get in trouble if they knew. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking the, probably the best way to do this is to have you go straight into like archivist or something like in the monastic setting uh -huh. And for us to just like, you know, add a couple of skills or change a skill and like tweak some things about it to make it work. Because, um, you know, uh, archivist gives you ancient history, obscure history, research, composition and. Any oh, yeah, wise. That's, that makes sense. Right. Those those all are already pretty cool. Um, any wise might even cover most of what you need for this. And then you always have general points too to like add a skill like, you know, okay. engineering or whatever, you know, to, to do that. So that that might be a good way of doing it. Um. In which case you could do child devotee. Um, I don't see archivist. Archivist is in monastic setting. Let's see. Um, oh, I see. Figure out the. Figure out the uh, path here. That makes sense. Uh, looks like you need eremite. Which requires do, five precepts trait. Which you need to take mendicant to do. I wonder, okay, what does the word <laughs> mendicant mean? I've only oh, heard that a word beggar. in Halo. A beggar. What? <laughs> you have to be a beggar to be an archivist? I, I, I think the idea is that you're doing, you're leaning into the kind of Buddhist monk stuff where like you, you, you know, you're giving away all your possessions, right? And you're focusing on the force and knowledge and enlightenment, that that sort of stuff. And so you're 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 surviving by you went somewhere like a hermit in the middle of the wilderness or something, or or, or like a Jedi enclave somewhere, and just spent time meditating on the force, right? And then you move from there to like knowledge. If that's interesting to you, then we can go with that. Uh, it does give you some interesting traits. Uh, you can get lucky, the lucky trait. That's a fun trait <laughs> to have. Um, let's take, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about five precepts. Let's, let's take a look at that trait, see what it gives us. 
Um, okay, here's here's what it says. It's a character trait, but apparently it has there's it's like an additional Jedi code thing. Um, I will refrain from intoxication. I will not take what is not offered to me. I will sever all romantic attachments. I will utter no knowing falsehood. I will not take the life of another thinking creature. Um, what? That, that so, can't be right because I want I want to beat the Mandalorians. I know, I know. And again, we we could go for it and say that like you've reverted from that, right? You you've decided to go away from it. Um, you technically, yeah, I guess you need it to, but we, yeah. could, we could have the whole story be about that, like you turning away from that. But if you don't care to do that, then we can we can tweak some things. No, let me find go do everyone else. Let me see what else I find. Sure, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and look around. If, if you if you really need to, I'm fine with like waiving that requirement on archivist and okay, and, uh, giving you that. Let me look. Let me figure it out. Um, Maybe I'll yeah. change. Yeah, go ahead and look. Just, just quickly for my first two otherness things, um, I yes. will be asking for two physical points. Okay. That'll be just the first dabble thing. Um, yeah, we're explain that to me. <laughs> uh, so for otherness, being a, a proper alien, you yeah. start off with 10, and then you basically have to take traits and stuff in yep. order to yep. bring it down. Um, the maximum you can have is eight left and the minimum you can have is three left oh yes that pool increases i see i yeah. see yes so yes. yeah here, i'm just going two of that okay perfect sounds good all right so, Alyssa, Olivia, at, at, what at you... most i'll be an eight but i'll, I'll probably grab yeah. some other sure, as well. sure. yeah cool okay where, so where i think i have mine down but i'm not a, like i also want to make sure that like you know i'm not a hundred percent set on like you know born adrift mm-hmm. padawan First, you know, I'm not I'm not 100 percent set on those. Like, I'm fine with doing different life paths if that uh, makes my character better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just to be frank, um, so if you see other life paths that are uh, worth exploring, I'm open to that. Because um, you know, I I'm not very familiar with uh, you know, with this. So I just kind of went with like the first thing. I was like, yes, that'll work to get me to pilot. Um, yeah, I mean, the the main differences that I'm seeing is that it, like gives you a linguistics right off the bat. Born Adrift does. So you'd automatically know a bunch of languages or at yeah. least have the ability, you know, to try to learn a bunch of languages. So that's uh-huh. that could be cool. It, it, this is it would make you definitely like the kind of like travel the whole the whole galaxy type person, which right. if you're down with that, then that seems like a good option. Yeah, no, I, I think so. Um, I just like I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, I don't know long. enough. Like, Twenty six points does not seem like a lot. <laughs> Twenty six oh for skills. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get 13 points from Padawan. I think, honestly, that's one of the most the 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 life paths are the most skill points of like the whole thing. Right. Because <laughs> I'm looking I, at Olivia's right now. So uh, we I, I don't know if they're really going to work. Yeah, I don't know if they'll work yeah. or not. Um, So you'll have to tell us. But uh, Child Devotee, Padawan, Jedi Knight and Wayfaring Knight. Wayfaring Knight sounded cool. Oh, OK. Um. So sorry. Um. Uh, what, what, sorry, what was the first one? Child devotee. Child devotee. Okay, so, so in monastic, I don't know and then I'm talking for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, child devotee. Then Padawan. Then Jedi Knight. And then Wayfaring Knight. Uh, where where was Padawan? There's like several different ones. W- which setting was it in? Oh, um, there's the, different uh, ones. The Fringer setting, I think. Fringer. Okay, the same yeah. one as Alyssa. Um, yeah, so there, there no, are different I'm, ones. No, mine's, f- f- mine, mine's in a different yeah, one. Yours is in space fairy, is mine's that right? Space oh yeah, yeah. There's 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 two different ones here. Uh, I kept mine all in the same one. Yes. Okay. So yeah, fringe fringe setting would be yeah. You get insular cultures wise, criminal consortium wise, brigandry wise. Yeah. So you'd be like you grew up on the outer. Or you you did stuff on the outer rim, uh, basically. Um, okay, that's that's interesting. And then sorry, from there you went Jedi Knight. Yeah. In fringe still. Jedi Knight. I think so. I don't know. Is there multiple? There's multiple Jedi Knights, aren't there? Yeah, just... yeah. And part of it too is we have to make sure that they lead into each other right. properly. Uh, uh, yeah, there yeah. is only one Jedi Knight actually. In it's in military. It's in a military, military setting. Yeah, yeah. Because like, the idea was like I think there's like other ones that say like Jedi Sentinel, Jedi like. But you're all quote unquote a Jedi Knight. The, the Jedi Knight life path is basically like you were fighting people, right? Mm. so th- there are other versions of that are the equivalent of jedi knight that aren't just fighting people so if, if you want to not necessarily be a military jedi 
then those are options to look at too. Um, up to you. What a gentleman Jedi Sentinel be? Um, and I, I might have been making up that one, but I know that there are other ones. I that, saw it. Yeah, okay. Sunless Depths setting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, because it was basically like you're going after criminals and stuff. Oh. Yeah, you're like a yeah stealthy observation, streetwise, criminal operations wise, right? So those the, that that would be one angle. Um, Can I could I be a fallen Jedi but still be a Jedi? Like and not people not know that I'm a fallen Jedi. Uh, it depends on what the hunger means. <laughs> oh <laughs> look yeah, at that trait. Yeah, it's like the just to kill people. Okay, let's see. The hunger. Everyone down here has it. That drive to ascend, to claw your way out, even if you must step on the hands and heads of the rest. Oh. You, you earn a persona point at the end of any session in which your attempts to rise out of your current circumstances have assured someone else's demise. That sounds fun. <laughs> so I think the idea is that you would have fallen. This. So if you chose that, uh, Chad. Uh, that, the, I was, so I, I was thinking I would just pick cloner. That's what I was going for. Okay, cloner is, is fun. Yeah. Uh, if you if you chose the hunger, if you chose that life path, Chad, the um, that would be like you in the underground of Terrace, <laughs> like you would have been swept up into the swoop gangs and stuff, right? Um, oh, Alyssa, really? Alyssa, you just need to quickly change your um age filter because you currently got it to you based your age stats on dwarves instead of humans. Be a dwarf Jedi. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll get to that when we get to it, but like um. Actually, we can just do this now. Everyone go to four stats, that section right there. Click humans on the filter by stock and then choose your age range from there. Yeah, once you put them in. Um, can you repeat that? Right. Uh, yours probably will have to wait, Chad, anyway, because oh. um, you haven't picked up all your life paths. Oh, yet. okay. But yes. I just assumed I'd be a human, but I didn't even think about other options. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> everyone uses the same base stats, even if you are an alien. Mm -hmm. um, so we, the, mm -hmm. you know, Burning Wheel has like dwarves and stuff, but we, we're not using those ones, obviously. So yep. you just ma okay. make sure that it's on humans and then on has humans. the right age range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, so real quick, yeah, so cloner. Um, yeah, genetic engineering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> research. research heredity wise ethics wise you get the crimes against nature trait <laughs> and i have to have born born mentat how do you say that menta mentat yeah <laughs> um born mentat what is that <laughs> what in the world edetic memory uh that's not a life path what born mentat i see it i found it wait what I screenshotted it. Where? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I I literally typed it in and and searched for it and I couldn't find it in Palace. Oh, okay, I see. So this is this would be um you growing up as like nobility and having spent a bunch of your time just becoming like a human computer, basically, mm -hmm. right? So instead instead of like you know growing up as a noble child or whatever, you would have been like trained from birth to do like math. a kid from China. <laughs> uh, yeah, and like uh, the Mentats in Dune. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. So, so I mean, th this is a good life path if you wanted to be that sort of, like, high science type character. Yeah, I wanted to be, like, yeah, a super sense. nerdy That's kind of cool. Science Jedi. Yeah. I need another um, one. I need to pick Knight or Sentinel or <laughs> so Fallen quick, Jedi uh, or something. Crimes against nature. The work of a cloner is so little understood that it generates much fear and aberration. In many systems, the profession is considered to be heretical in nature. Works require commission and commissions are rare. In order to get a job, you must first succeed on a circles test to find an employer with the right resources and disposition. That being said, cloning is still a highly prized skill among those who do value it. When you get a job with genetic engineering, your skill shade shifts for that test. What? That's such a weird trait. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I already have a, an ongoing contract with the Jedi Order. Ah, uh, well, I mean, stuff. we would have to, we would have to talk about that. <laughs> Albertine hasn't quite. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yet. And so here, here's an idea. We could make no. we could change that that life path um to be from cloner to and that just be like physicist or something right yeah to whatever specific science you wanted to go after we could, we could tailor made that make that for you i feel like it's like material science so that's why i thought it'd be like engineer 
but I don't right. know. So I, engineering, I don't think, is a skill. There are a whole bunch of different ones that like revolve around that. Can so I you, just what, be scientist? You wanted to specifically to do like armor making and like material, well, like materials no, I, and stuff. I, I, I don't. Ex- I haven't this. I haven't figured out what like. Like in my mind, I still don't know what thing would be the thing that can combat Mandalorian armor. But right. I feel like an en- it would be an engineering thing, not a. Mm-hmm. But like, but what if it? What if he was a biologist and he discovered some like obscure plant that had uh-huh. acid in its petals that destroyed Mandalorian? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I haven't. I haven't um, decided that. So far, the skills that I'm seeing that make sense are chemist. Um, let's see. Chemist. Um, yeah, I mean, genetic engineering, if you wanted to make a creature that could kill Mandalorians, right? That's, that's one thing. That's cool. Um, that is cool. It's a little beast. We could do, uh, there's so many skills. Machinist is like the, you know, making stuff. Uh, mechanic. Um, mixology. No, that's liquor. Yeah. Um, let's see. Anything else here? Oh, maybe I need to make, maybe I need to change my character. Robotics. What is that from Droid Smith? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the one that the ones that jumping that are jumping out to me so far is um, chemist. I think I what think if you want if you, if you wanted to be like a um, uh, good question, I'll, I'll look. Uh, if you wanted to be the type of character that could like yeah figure out how to destroy Mandalorian armor, right? Uh, that seems like a good idea. So let's see, refiner. Uh, that would be like for yeah, like drugs and stuff. But you know that would give you chemistry. Uh, physician has chemist. Um, so I could be like I could. What if I was like a Jedi doctor who hated yeah. Mandalorians and yeah. wanted to kill them? I that that's kind of cool because then you have like a different. You're coming at it from a different angle. Uh, but you're using your skills that you do have to like try to figure it out. Yeah, I think I'll do that if I can. Or that sounds phys- cool to me. Physician. Is that what you yeah, said? physician, physician, yeah. Well, Toxicology, anatomy, student, medic. Or that would student. that would also come in handy, like during the game in case somebody yeah. gets hurt. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm deleting cloner and menta. We can work together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Doctor and ambassador, pretty cool. Well, also my transference. Oh yes, exactly. You're yeah, you're right. What is that? Uh, it's like the um, Jedi. So you know how um, Connor had that thing where he could do health tests for other people. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there's there's a uh, the proprioception thing where you can spend extra fate to make them explode more. You can do that on health tests. So I'm going to do that with my my dude. Is I'm going to be able to t- do other people's health tests and then make everything that's a success explode, uh, and then just try and like. Be really, like really, really healing, good at really healing good. people. Yeah. <laughs> With the but, but you, you can come across. You can like you, you, you guys working together would be able to do a lot of really good stuff to, he, to yeah. heal people, right? Because he can do the actual like J- Jedi training, magic healing stuff, and you can give him all the advantage dice he needs yeah. to make it work really well. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but there's different types of positions. Yeah. So one one way I of going about take- this, I. Here's an here's an idea for you, uh, Chad. Uh, like a, a path you can take. So do maybe child devotee stewardship, or sorry, steward the 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 steward life path. Uh, and then I think it, yeah, it goes to glittering spires, which I think you can. Oh, do because I have to have student. Huh? You well, you need well, student medic or one. you need student medic or steward. Um. Oh yeah, that's true. Um. Wait wait, wait a second. Is there a padawan in glittering spires? Or or any sort of Jedi. Well, there yeah, is. there is a Padawan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here, here. How will we do this, uh, Chad? Um, what if we do? Um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, trial devotee, 
um, steward, Padawan, and physician. Uh, wait a second. What is steward? Yeah. So then my guy's still a Padawan. Well, no, because you get the Sworn to the Order trait, right? Um, when you take the Padawan life path. The, the oh. Padawan just means... It means you, you were you, one. You, you were one. You, you, okay. you did all of the Padawan training. And, you know, if you... Uh, if you only had child devotee as a life path, then you would be a Padawan. You're because, like, oh, I see, I see. Right? That would be the next one you should have taken, but you haven't taken it yet. Or they're the ones who like don't pass, right? They don't pass mm-hmm. the trials or something. So so the, I think the way that it makes the most sense because- What am I missing? Or- life, child devo- devotee, Padawan, physician. What am I missing? Um, steward. So so I think the, the way this has to work, because Padawan is like in all of the other settings and not uh-huh. in there- uh, I think the one, the, what makes the most sense for your story, if you're cool with this, is the idea that you would do child devotee, and then you didn't pass whatever the test was to to go be a Padawan and go have a Jedi Knight. And so you spent a bunch of time as a steward instead, as a person who stays in the Jedi Temple and, like, isn't strong enough to be an actual Jedi Knight, or, you know, to be a Padawan and stuff. But, like, you know, you spent a lot of time researching and and helping the other Jedi. And then at some point during that process, you did prove yourself. And you move to become a Padawan later in life. Stewardship, cooking, textiles. <laughs> but here, textiles is going to be a great fork for chemist. <laughs> Why? Well, because, okay, think about it this way. Um, you're you're going to be able to figure out materials, right? Like, if, if mm-hmm. your ultimate goal is to, like, dissolve Mandalorian armor, you can be like, I know about clothing. I know about chemistry. I know, if I, right? Like, you can be like, okay. f- materials, right? That can be your your path there. Um, and 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 then you would have gone to Padawan from there in the glittering spires setting. Um, oh, so steward comes before Padawan. Yes, yeah. Well, because um, uh, steward leads into glittering spires where Padawan is. But you, if you took, I guess you could do it this way too. If you didn't want steward, uh, you could go straight from child devotee, I believe, to glittering spires. Um, take Padawan and then do. Well, you can't do student. Where's what's where's medic at? Physician. Yeah, medic. What is medic? That's a good question. I think I might be in military. Medic is in the military subsetting. Yeah. So you need trooper or academy recruit. Yeah, I, I think the oh, the okay. only path that makes sense, uh, that I'm seeing right away anyway, is child devotee, steward, padawan, physician. So my guy has a sad story. Yeah, right. But then you got to prove yourself, right? Like you, yeah. you did actually finally. He's an yourself. underdog. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. You, you down with those? Yeah, I like that. I'm cool. happy with that. Sweet. So uh, well, yeah, let's these. put these in one at a time then. So um, you're going to go through each life path uh, in order there. So child devotee would go in that first row um, and you would put in. Uh, where is it? Right, time, resources, any stat points, um, skill points, and trait points as it's listed there in the life path. And then um, whenever you take a lead somewhere, so whenever you, I think you only do this once, but when you go from steward to Padawan in the Glittering Spires life path, you're going to add one in lead because you it, you took a, an extra year in that transition between steward okay. to Padawan. That'll, that'll be your final age. Am I putting these skills in the right place? Uh, let me check. I believe you do have a general point. Yeah, uh, put one in general for child DVT. Uh, the G E N and Gen there. Oh, I see. Yep. Um, I think so far we're looking good. Yeah, six, uh, seven resources for steward. Oh. And then, yeah, so you were, you were 17 years old when you finally got picked as a... As a oh my gosh, isn't that super old? Is oh, that even I guess, legal? I guess 16, <laughs> because I think this goes here. This is um, illegal. Yeah. <laughs> illegal. Yeah. Um, glittering Spires, yeah, so Padawan. 13. Yeah, etiquette, meditation, law-wise, politics-wise, industry-wise. I like it, I like it. And I like this too because glittering spires could definitely be on Terrace, right? Um, yeah. Here's a question, Chad. Did you have you been a Terrace Jedi your whole life? Um. Uh, yeah. That, How that about could, I just always lived there? 
Yeah, that yeah, could be a, a, a sad story, right? With like your home world gets destroyed. Yeah, that is sad. Six years. There's no lead on that. Six. I have bedside manner. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, though I guess technically, I don't know if it was built. Oh, Padawan has to be the second life path, it says. Oh, it does? Uh, doesn't it say yeah. second or third? Uh, it says must be the it character's be second. second. I'm, we can wave it. It's fine. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's one of the only Pass ways you're going to just because the Jedi like to grab their children early. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's 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 one of the only ways that we can make this concept work. So I'm fine. With yeah. That. Okay, now what do I need to do? Okay, yeah. How how's everybody looking for life path entries then? What are M and P? Uh that would be um mental and physical pool. Um oh, Padawan I'm... gets one and both. What do you oh I see. Yep, yep. And then physician that. gets none. Yeah, so just just Jedi. Uh Padawan has those. wonder what here you go padawan oh uh hey technically we could do it this way chad you could take padawan first you could do a uh, child devotee padawan uh and then go back to the monastic maybe you failed as a padawan uh and then went and became a steward and a physician because then okay th this would be the story then if you if you were a padawan you'd be a jedi knight uh, you went through all the normal stuff but you either you could have just decided to stay in the academy and train people instead of going off and doing Jedi things, right? Yeah, because aren't there, are, are there, there, I feel like there are Jedi, like, yeah, they just the librarian, the like, she's yeah, exactly. a Jedi knight. Yeah. Let's do, let's do that. It still works just fine. You, you're just one year older, I think is the only difference. Because you go back and forth between the, uh... yeah, so just switch those around there. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, you you went through all the normal Jedi training, and you just decided, like, I, I'm going to dedicate my life to science, <laughs> right? So I have two leads. Yeah, yeah, and they would go. Yeah, right. Yep, they're in there. Yep. Actually, wait. I think you have three. Oh wait, let me delete this. Yeah, you have three. Actually, sorry, <laughs> you're three? two years older. Yeah, because uh, three. Yeah, Padawan, Steward, and Physician, because you're you start a monastic. You go to F Glittering Spires, you go back to Monastic, and then you go back to Glittering Spires. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Olivia, Alyssa, how are you guys doing? I think we're doing okay. Um, help out Olivia for a little bit while I'm kind of working yep. on mine. Um, sure thing. Yeah. Tell him your idea. Okay. Um, so, what is it? Child devotee. Mm -hmm. in the monastic setting yep and then going to the military setting to do padawan and jedi knight then being done with it and going to fringe setting and being a wayfaring jedi nice nice yeah let's uh let me look at the wayfaring knights um life path here Basically, she wants to be uh qui-gon <laughs> right yeah yeah and that, that's definitely kind of the vibe here right because you get like uh, inconspicuous, conspicuous persuasion, linguistics, instruction. Okay, yeah, yeah. You would you would have been traveling the outer rim. This is a this is a good character to be in this uh, campaign because you would probably have been the person who saw the Mandalorians like uh, descending on worlds before they attacked the Republic. You may have been on one of those, right? Uh, if you're traveling the outer rim, helping like solve problems. Uh, you definitely may have already run into the Mandalorians and maybe tried to warn them. Like, we could even make this a whole thing, right? Like, you maybe tried to warn the Republic this was going to happen and they didn't listen to you. Like, we could, that could be a whole thing. Um, let me take a look at Dispute Settler. I'm curious what that trait does. Oh, I guess it's a trait from Burning Wheel. Cool. I assume it's just like a call-on for persuasion or something, right? Uh, let's take a look. Three, two, um... one. Just quickly, Caleb, sorry. Yep. Um, there's a skill on one of my lists called Federation Wise. Would we. Federation Wise. Is that changed or is that Republic Wise or what is that? Ooh, I can't yeah. remember what the Federation was. The Federation is in Clone Wars. Um, so, likely not the case this in this setting. Yeah. Um, what, what life path is that again? I believe it's part of um, 
ambassador. Ambassador. Um, yeah, I would. I let's let's make that corporation wise. Um, mm. one of the like the last twenty years have been a lot of the Republic rebuilding and trying to get a bunch of really powerful corporations to fund their rebuilding by giving them a bunch of exclusive trade routes and things and like uh, hyperspace lanes and whatnot. So I okay. have a feeling you were involved. If you were sent by the Jedi to do anything official, it would have been something like that. Cool. Yeah. So then we'll have corporation wise. Yeah. So dispute Angel settler. I, I've never, I've never taken a look at this uh, trait because uh, it's a dwarven life path trait. Um, but it's a skill that acts as a call on for persuasion, course persuasion, or oratory when trying to settle a dispute between two characters. So this this will be fun. You're it, we we got some good combos here. Like we got the ambassadors and the doctors, and right like uh, there's some good uh, help situations that I can see working here. But yeah, Olivia, those those sound good to me. Um, so I guess the question would be, uh, why did you end up back on uh, Terrace, or were do you ever on Terrace? Like, what what was your what's your relationship with the planet? <laughs> I guess Terrace wouldn't have like a military. Well, maybe maybe I started off in Terrace as a child devotee, and then ended mm -hmm. up going somewhere else for Padawan and military training. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, the one thing that I do think we we can always change this, but I do think because Terrace was brought into the Republic like recently i think the jedi academy here is more recent than would make possible for either of you to be in child devotees here um i like it, it could definitely have been uh what you did padawan in which setting the military setting military um yeah so you probably would have been with um what's his face with josh's character uh, hunting down whatever remains of the the last war that just happened, uh, the dark whatever dark brotherhood of the Sith and and whatnot uh, still remained in the galaxy. Um, I'm I'm just trying to think through. What what do you guys would you guys prefer to have been on Terrace you and Chad? Uh, because we can change the timeline if we really if you guys really want to have like always been on Terra or like grew up on Terrace. Oh, I don't that, care. That could that definitely makes it more dramatic, right? If like you both grew up here, <laughs> and then it gets torched yeah. in front of your eyes, right? Let's go with that. Let's just do that. I, I don't think it changes too much to to say that. Uh, yeah, that all sounds good to me. And then you just have like lived on the outer rim your whole life, basically. Um, and then ended up the last eight years or so just wandering around doing outer rim stuff. Yep. After my military campaign career. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, I'm I am curious about that because you you spent a good um <laughs> how how long is that? I, I added some lead years Ten there because we missed those. Uh it's it's actually eleven years because there, oh, there's one year in there. As you transition from settings, you, you have to add a year um to okay. uh to signify that. Um yeah, you don't have yeah, it does yeah, have uh, for you, I think. Eleven years. Uh, at, in the mil in the military setting, I'm curious. I don't think all of that could have been hunting down the remnants of this cult. Do you have any other ideas of what you were doing in the military setting? There's not a whole lot of wars happening in this era. Maybe that's the point. Maybe it was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were stationed. You just did a lot of training. You were stationed on worlds that never got attacked. Who knows? I, I like the idea. Um, that maybe uh, especially for the last few years, or your your Jedi night life path. Um. Mm -hmm you uh you you saw the mandalorians or like you got reports of the mandalorians attacking places in the outer rim and y your character could think whatever you want about this but i could definitely see a version of this character that like as soon as that happened you wanted to go fight and the the jedi council wouldn't let you and the republic wouldn't let you and y you ended up becoming a wayfaring knight because you're like i have to go help these people <laughs> right that could be fun yes Okay, um, Caleb, I yeah. uh, could use some ideas. Um, I'm mm -hmm. open to things. I actually have changed a little bit. Um, I right. found I I realized that I don't need first mate to get star yeah. pilot because Perfect. you only need for star pilot you need. Um, Isn't Padawan one of the requirements? 
No, no, no. As Star Pilot uh, Sworn to the Order trait is uh -huh. yes. Uh, is is one of the one of the yeah one of the ones uh, ways that you can get it. So yep. I was like, oh, screw that. I'm gonna skip first mate then. Perfect. Um, and so I'm skipping first mate. Um, and so I was thinking Jedi of Sentinel. taking Jedi Sentinel, yeah. but I'm not sure. I think I think that's it? awesome. That there's some really good. I'm I'm seeing a lot of really good mix um. Uh, matchups uh team ups between the different people mm -hmm. because um uh especially with josh is kind of like the linchpin of all of these because he's chosen so many different things uh, as one character um he, he could help you spy he could help uh, chad do doctor stuff he could help olivia do a persuasion like ambassador stuff um and then we have yeah there's just a lot of really cool crossovers here i like that i think it would be cool to have like a kind of sneaky star pilot uh gal uh, that sounds fun to me okay sounds good yeah, that was my that was my idea. So cool. Love it. I think I will be the youngest. I think you are. Yeah. At 24. Uh, a prodigy. Uh, are, you, are you just in the same setting? Yeah. And I probably will have the least amount of skills. Um, Olivia has a, a skill pool of 46 skills Woo! points and I've got 29. Yeah. Nice. I have 28. Is that cheating? That's really lame. No, it's not cheating. <laughs> it's just That's my character is probably good for you, Olivia, because it's your first character. So you're gonna need all the help you can get. I need help. I just don't want to be injured for like six months. Uh, oh no, don't here, worry. It's just like six weeks. <laughs> you, you actually are. You actually are 25, Alyssa. Uh, there's a lead between oh, okay. Star Pilot and Jedi Sentinel. Jedi Sentinel isn't in spacefaring. It's in uh, Fringe, Sunless Depths. Uh, French, right? right, uh, right can, right. can you go to Sunless Depths? from star pilot um it says any except palace or servitude so perfect you're good to go then yeah just want to make sure yes sweet neato okay yeah so now it would be choosing our um stats um josh what have you chosen for those since i since i assume you're ahead of all of us uno momento mm -hmm. So you just need to make sure everybody's ears are lining up. Uh, so for Chad is the oldest. My... Yeah, and the weakest. <laughs> think for of all the knowledge. My you stats. Um, I've currently got things as. So I should check whether swapping these around changes anything at all. And. A six and four. It's very good. <laughs> I think you are the only character to like uh, of any of the campaigns I've ever done to um, put a bunch of points in fort. How do I oh, add a photo? That's great. Um, what? I'm, How do I'm, I put a photo on here? Uh, uh, well, go go. You can just send me a photo, and I'll make a little token of it. A little token version of it. But yeah, if you find one, let me know. Don't you upload those like? Show who what our character to, looks like. Yeah, you 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 can you should be able to click edit on the character sheet and upload it from there. Oh, the I see. right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I can take that photo too and make a little token version of it that we can move around on a map. So you do that too. Uh sorry, uh, Josh. What were you saying? Um, yeah, I'm just checking a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Um, I was finalizing my skill list, but I'm not sure that I want that anyway. So uh, I'll fill fill that out later. Yeah. Um, currently, um, I'm looking at, I mean, the one thing I'm debating at the moment is whether I put will as six or will as four and mm. vice versa with perception. Yeah. Um, but my, my physical stats are four for power, agility, and speed and six for Ford. Nice. Uh, Chad, what are you going to choose? Or what? Uh, for um your stats here. So let's if you take a look at uh number four in the character burner worksheet here. Um, your pool here is given to us here. Um, will perception? Oh yeah, we should we should should have been adding skills on this. Let me let me help you out here. Oh, you're good. I have to write down all of them. Uh, if you, if you know for sure you're not going to take one, then you don't have I'll to. I'll write them all down. Write them all down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, go ahead and put those in. Um, 
and uh, we do need to make sure that they are. And I, I would do that for you guys too, Alyssa and Olivia. I would I would make sure that all all the skills and traits that are on those life paths are put in on in those requisite spots, uh, and then we can make sure that the roots are all correct. Um, Jedi um, hey Caleb, perception. a question for you, just because I'm used yep. to making this on the character burner, not on yeah. the sheet. Yep. Um, the mental age it says for me is seven, but then when I'm putting in my mental age, so it, in theory, right, I should only have seven to play with. But then when I put it, it in... it automatically like, adds in your ones from your life path. Ones. Oh, okay, got it. So as long as it yeah. goes to zero, I'm good. Like that's fine. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so it'll be yeah, the perfect. seven plus. Assumedly, I just want to make sure I'm not cheating. That's no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, you're good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. It already okay. has a one in all of the fields. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. I got you. What's fort? Uh, will you explain fort to Olivia? Yes. Yes. So we'll talk about this, the the stats. So will is your ability to um uh, resist being persuaded and to persuade others, right? So anything having to do along those lines. It's also uh, um the root of a lot of a uh, Jedi skills like meditation and stuff. Uh, so if you want to be good at like meditating in the Force, will is is what you need. Um, perception is your ability to perceive things, like notice things, and also your like general knowledge about things, your your mental. So activity. and so, just so you know, so these will, um, they're the like, roots for the skills. They're the roots for the skills. So and it's always by even numbers. So like, let's say for example, you open up persuasion, and if you have a will of four, then you start with um, two points two dice, in persuasion. Two points in yeah. persuasion. Um, but if you do a six, then you get three immediately when you open it up. So that's why it's always better to like start with even numbers rather than odd numbers. So I would pick personally for your, I would do a six and will and then perception six rather than five and five. Um, just to start, you can always, that's just my opinion. Um, yes, it, it, it's, it's a valid way of doing it. It, it. A lot of it depends on if you, if you have a bunch of skills that are going to be benefited by having the rounded number in that like then you should right go for it, then right? it's better to yeah to start like if you have a way. bunch of perception skills then having right, a then six do the opposite is, but i yeah. she's gonna be more persuasiony yeah sure that makes sense so a six and will makes, makes total sense for this character yeah yeah and then, and then for then the uh, physical add... stats uh power is like your strength um uh agility is dexterity you know it's it's uh it's i, I like to say it's hand-eye coordination uh speed i like to say is feet eye coordination it's anything having to do with like speed or um balance or climbing like that sort of stuff dancing uh and then fort is like your constitution your ability to resist uh poison and whatnot uh just a quick question for olivia are you buying into persuasion or are you because if you're going more for persuasion then i might go for oratory instead oratory or whatever you want to call it <laughs> You're what? wrong about their pronunciation, Josh. Oratory. <laughs> Oratory. Oratory. Um, <laughs> do you want basically do you want the skill persuasion? Like, are you gonna put some point are you gonna put points into that? It sounds like Olivia's character concept is pretty like if you if you want to be the Jedi who was like out in the outer rim solving disputes between people, that seems like a good one oh, to have. Yeah. Right. And um, honestly, persuasion is just like a really good catch-all skill to have. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. lot mm -hmm. of what some people try to do is persuasion um especially your first obvious. time playing burning wheel <laughs> i know um, it's all chat we played a campaign with chad and it's almost pretty much the only thing he rolled the entire campaign <laughs> just kept convincing everyone of everything um so that's a really good skill to have yeah yeah i, I don't know if she has oratory in her life paths so i i think persuasion yeah. makes sense as a focus for her character whereas i think you get oratory right as one of your in your, in your I don't, paths. but uh, you don't. I'll, but you're you're, th you're thinking of taking it. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think it makes sense. Okay. Now, how do I how do I put points in here? Yes. Okay. So, uh, if you have your uh, oh yeah yeah your your stats. So um, let's let's do your stats first, though, Chad. It will that will help oh, us where know those how it opens. Uh, number four on the side there. Did I um, miss something? Oh, yeah, I it's see. on the it's on the, the right side. Yeah. So um, let's uh let's go ahead. And, I I like to put everything at three first because you pretty much never going to want anything lower than three. Um, mainly because uh, when you get wounded in this game, it takes away your stat dice. And so if, you know, the, the less dice you have, if you try to have one stat that has like a really low number, you're going to go unconscious like immediately. Okay. So, um, so then, and then we can look from there how many points you so have. So where does that come, where do those, where do those 18 points come out of? Um, 
uh, 18, where are you looking? Like, you just put three in all those. Where, yes, yes. Where is so, that? So uh, you have, uh, if you look at M pool and P pool right above those, that's the remaining number. And it oh, was I have like two. Yeah, it was it was the the when you look right above that mental age and physical age, those that's uh-huh. the base number seven and fourteen, and then you got one and one. You got one to each of those pools from from Padawan. Um, so that was your final number there. Um, the the options we're looking at here, uh, really, a lot of it depends on what I think your character is going to be more in. Um, perception here chad if you want to be like a scientist type um looks like stewardship is will and perception i'm, I'm gonna go through these and make sure we have all the roots okay down for you so we know um i think cooking is just perception too right and textile should be and i don't think matters do a t wise most of these are perception Meditation is will. What is telepathy? Will and perception. I'm just going to do four and four. Yeah, four and four is a good good way of doing those, I think. Um, uh, let's see here. What is lightsaber based on? Oh, searching lightsaber in this document was a mistake. So many instances. All right. Telekinesis. I'm going through these and making sure they're all correct for you, Chad, because then we'll Okay. Tell us which. Yeah, I think you almost. Yeah, so so the way it will work, you will have one if you want to do this as evenly as possible, you'll have one of your physical stats that will be less than a four. Um, so I would just choose which one you want to be worse at. I forgot what fort is. Uh, fort is like your constitution, your ability oh, to remember. resist I remember. poison and stuff. I remember. Yeah. Um, having a power of four and four, a power and fort of four and four is going to be good if you want to be uh, better health wise and like have a easy, uh, less chance of going down quickly. Because that determines your. Uh... You do five power and four, four, yes. three, three. three. Okay. Four. Well, yeah, Will and Fort for uh, health. I was thinking of Mortal okay. Wound. I drink it. So um, now I can put points into skills? Yes, I think it is accurate now. So most of these What's are the most I can two. put in one? Five or four? Uh, the most you can have... Yeah, that's an important thing to remember to remind everybody. The highest you can have any skill at character creation is going to be six. Oh, six. Yeah. So yeah, the, really this depends. So Chad, I like I think you're going to have to go into this game knowing that you will not be able to be the heroic Jedi who fights all the people and wins, right? Um <laughs> because Well, we'll see. Yeah, your your focus is probably <laughs> is not that? going to be that. Primarily How many because skills you have, do I have to take? Uh yes, that's a good point. Yeah, you have to take all the first skills from those life paths. The first um, so one. So I yeah, have the to first take one of each. I'm going to put a one in all those. So, so what, what you're going to want to do is um, click the open. Uh-huh. Click, click open there. Um, you don't have to put a one in it yet. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, that spends Stewardship. the skill point to, to, to buy it when you mark that, that check mark. So the first skill. Uh, so the first for skill on each of those lists. Etiquette. Yep. Okay. And then I believe for... Uh, okay, what, stewardship is the same for... Steward and physician are both stewardship first. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So you don't have to take uh, stewardship twice. You know, you just you just take them right. once. D- d- um, yeah, I think it's only if you take the life path again do you have to take the second skill. So, All right. Cool. Yeah, the only exception to those things is the traits for Padawan, where both of them are got required. it. Yes, yes, they have they have a particular thing there, but we'll, we can get to traits uh, when we get to them. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, so Chad, I, w- I would go through, and then uh, you're going to want to put numbers in advance there. What um, is transference? Transference is the thing that uh, Josh was describing where you get to make health tests for other people. Oh, I don't need that, though. Cause you don't need it. it. Yeah, if, if, yeah. Josh is going to really focus hard in it, so <laughs> no, 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 necessarily no need. So if I want something, I mark it open. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. You, I, that's what I usually do first when I go through these skill lists is I mark it all the ones I want first and then look at how many points I have remaining and then advance them from there. Uh, keep in mind that uh, lightsaber is based on perception and agility. So if you have an agility of three, you'll start in a one in lightsaber. But if you have a five power, you'll do more damage when you actually do hit with a lightsaber. Well, so, you know, there's trade offs. <laughs> yeah, I, fig- I figured you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, three in speed makes sense. Like, I, I, I'm imagining this guy is like, he's like a 31 year old man, right? So he, and he spent most of his life like doing doctory and yeah, he's stewardship a, things. He right? works so, in a lab, basically. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're, you're a, not as quick as the others. I don't know. Telepathy? That means you can read people's minds? Yeah, yeah. There's some cool stuff you can do there. I don't know if I want that. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, real quick. I need to mark all the ones that are open. Oh, I wrote meditation twice. Oh, yeah. Don't don't uh, click them twice. Right, just delete one of them. Um, I think <laughs> lightsaber. Yeah. Kinesis. I'm just marking all the ones that uh, telekinesis is, is the ability to use the force, right? Yeah, it's the yeah, it's the ability to push things around with your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm. proprioception as a reminder chad is the ability to basically it's like anything like jedi speed jedi jumping like yeah all that stuff what about what's toxicology what does that do here toxicology is knowing about poisons and anatomy is just about the body yeah it's like knowing the, the, the knowing the body yeah so that would be a fork for like healing or mm-hmm. yeah for sure how come there's no healing? Is that is that just an anatomy I think rule? It's, I think it's chemist and toxicology and stuff. Because well, think about it. This in Star Wars, right? Most of the time in Star Wars, you're like sticking someone oh, in the back of the tank or, or using a a med pack or something, right? So right. those aren't uh, the, you're not you're not doing surgery on anyone, really. You can also buy a droid too, Chad, if you ever want to have like a surgery droid or something, right? Who does healing for you? Okay. But yeah, I think typically what you're doing is you're like. You know, giving people draughts of like you're giving people medicine or sticking them in back to tanks or something, or I guess Colto tanks in this era. Oh, yeah, Colto. Yeah. What illness wise do I need to advance that if it's a wise? Uh, you can if you want to. The way that wise is usually work, they're really good for just like uh, forking into stuff because you don't but roll a wise, y- you can right? roll wises separately. Um, to so if the, the way the reason you would do that is if you wanted to make up something about an illness. If you wanted to say, oh, this person, if I said, like, describe someone as being sick, you could roll illness-wise to be like, I know what illness this is, and I'm going to make up some stuff about it. So you could do it. You could advance it if you want to. Okay. Um, What's stewardship? Uh, Stewardship is, I believe, like, uh, helping people out (laughs) uh, in the Jedi Temple (laughs) is what that was for you. Um, Running the temple. Let me take a look at it. Uh, those who hold sentry over children, the ill or the elderly, may use this skill to govern their daily routine, instill discipline or speed recovery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so this, this is the sort of thing you would have done at the Jedi Temple all the time. Um, the obstacle is the will of the child, uh, the, the will of the child, convalescent or invalid. Um, stewardship can be tested to staunch the flow, but cannot treat wounds. Stewardship can help health, health test for recovery. Providing provided the steward is presiding over the patient for the majority of each day of convalescence. So yeah, it's like that's like the like I will help you in your recovery over months skill. Uh, plus like you can use it to like uh, make sure that people don't bleed out and stuff. But yeah, mainly it was like you, that was the, the skill you used when you were like working at the Jedi Temple uh, as both a healer and a like steward over the children. Yeah. Um. Uh... I don't think it, I would care about meditation on this. Yeah, that's, all that's wise, fine. no. Politics wise, no. Um, as a reminder, meditation in this game is a. There's a lot that can be done with it. So if you did want to take it, like it does open up a lot of options for you. Um, what about? Such as, mm-hmm. No, never mind. Uh, um, uh, such as you can reach out, uh, with your aura across the galaxy. Um, you can. Uh, withdraw. Uh, you, you use it to get clairvoyance. So if I have it open, that means I just have a one in that. Uh, it means right? you have a uh, whatever the uh, what it says at EXP. 
Oh, I see. Either. Some of them open higher. Oh, so if of... it shows seven, I have to lower it. It can only be six, right? Yes, it has to be. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. What's that? Yeah, so you'll have a six in lightsaber. So at the very least, you are good at the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, I'm like purposely doing that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I do like the idea that like w- like you're the impression that you give Chad is that you're like this kind scientist Jedi, and then when it really does come down to it, you can't pull out a lightsaber. And yeah, people. I have to be able to. Plus, a lot yeah. of these things, I don't care about etiquette. Uh, <laughs> Lovely, no bedside manner for Chad. <laughs> well, I do have it as a trait. Yeah, yeah, bedside you have to manner. take it, but you're just not going to advance it at all. That means you're going to fail a lot of etiquette tests, but it'll be fine. Wait, so what's bedside manner do? If it's, a, it's like, uh, it's grayed oh, yeah, out. What does that mean if it's grayed out? Yeah, uh, it's if, a it, trait. if it's grayed out, it just means that it's a character trait. It just says something about you. Um, you can play to it uh, as okay, a character. Okay, so what is seno, senobitic? Uh, good question. Is that a grayed out one too? It's a, yeah, trait for steward. It's just a word, I guess, that means... <laughs> to form a ma- monasticism based on life in common, characterized by strict discipline, regular worship, and manual work. So, yeah, the idea of, like, you you spend your life as a Jedi b- being disciplined and self-controlled and okay. like, not overindulging in anything, that sort of thing. Boring. <laughs> how, are, how are we uh, doing on, on you guys, Alyssa and uh, Olivia? We're good. We're adding our uh, skills in right now and making sure that all the roots are correct on Perfect. on there. So that's that's we're just scourging through that right now. Sounds great. Uh, if I can but be of so assistance, far, I think we're doing okay. Awesome. We just pick the ones you want, and then we figure things out. Yeah. So Caleb, now there are some that we are required to take. Yes. yes the first skill of each life path must be taken. The first skill of each life path must be taken. Yep. Okay. That's what it is. I wasn't a hundred percent sure what yep. you guys were. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Yeah. And then also as a reminder for both of you, um, there's a little uh little asterisk check mark thing that you can do uh in between shade and advancement. Um any of the like magical ones, so um, telekinesis, lightsaber, telepathy, proprioception, um, mm-hmm. and all of those should be marked because they cost two to open instead of one. Um, how do you? So, mark? for example, yeah. So, so the little little uh, the check mark right after the B. Oh, I see. Oh, the asterisks. Okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you know all those skills with the asterisks. Yeah, there you go. You got yep. it. Olivia's already on it. Yep. Any of the ones that are like Jedi ones. The only exception is meditation. It does not need to be checked like that. Okay. I think I also have another one that is checked on a different on. Is that yeah. And I think that there are, there are certain ones like training skills are always checked. Um, let me look at yours. I don't think any of the other ones of yours need to be. Yeah, you look good. Otherwise, Caleb, why do I always yeah. do this to myself? I always yeah. do do? pick characters with life paths where it's clear I need to have a higher perception than Will, but that just <sighs> never goes well for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you only have a limited amount of points there. It's not not like you have an extra point to add a six to something. So I um, know. Is empathy the force? Yes, um, empathy is um, uh, the light side of the force. Um, if you get the empathy trait or whatever it is that gives you that, it, it's an emotional attribute that gets added to your character sheet that will so give you extra I, abilities and stuff. How do I add that over here on traits? Do I put it in cost or? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you will have to, um, any of these that you take, uh, Chad, write in a one mm-hmm. on, in the cost. They all cost one. The life path traits do so. Oh, I one see. on empathy. I'm assuming you're taking knighthood. Um, yeah, and bedside matter. Yep. I don't want five. Five precepts means that. So you have to take the first trait of each life path, but you don't oh, have to take. So I if, have if, to if take synobitic. You do have to take that one. Yes. Um. But you don't. You don't have to take five precepts. I don't think. No. Yeah. So you have one trait point left. I mean, pretty much only useful to spend it on like a. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of die traits that are useful. I guess the one that comes to mind is thick skin. This might this might fit the character. Um, <laughs> here, let me let me find that one. That's like the one useful one point die trait. Uh, this character is unaffected by insults, nettling, or nagging. Insight inside actions against in Duel of Wits are plus two ob against this character. Do you want to get that trait? 
Yeah, why not? That, that, that makes sense for a, a good one for this one. There you go. Oh, so that's all your that's all your trade points. You put it in there. Oh, you already yep. put it over there. Yeah, I got. It. Okay, um, attributes. Yes, and oh, that's, that, that, that's that's where you're putting it. So, um, empathy is going to go in this field right here, EA one. Um, and then there are there are certain questions that we have to answer to to fill that in. Uh, uh, so we'll we'll get we'll, we'll get. To, I think everyone has empathy because you're all like light side Jedi. No, you have to grab it. Uh, well, I think uh, several of them at least have taken life uh, life um, life paths that require the empathy trait. Uh, at the very least, I, I kn- yeah. I'm pretty. I know that Olivia will have it. Um, obviously, you don't, uh, Josh. But um, and then oh, yes, Olivia, yes. the Je- important Jedi thing Sentinel. to know too is that you're not um, limited to just these skills. So you also have general points too. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have I don't know how many general points you have. I only have two general points. Um, it would have been listed on the first on Child Devotee. Um, I think it's one. I think it is one. Yeah. So you get so put one on child devotee. Um, so yeah. If, okay. If there's something. So I would say that if there's something that you want your character to be able to do uh, that it's not on this list so far. If, if there's like something that you're like, oh, okay, it's not here. I want to be able to do this sort of thing. Uh, feel free to let me know. We can add that one point can be spent on that skill. Like me, for example, I am going to give myself at least one social skill and that's going to be ugly truth, which mm-hmm. I think is fitting. Yeah, yeah. Let That's me a good tell you. <laughs> Basically, let me tell you, son. <laughs> you ain't seen <laughs> yeah. nothing. Yeah. I've been out there in the galaxy and seen lots of stuff. And you're in 25 years. I don't have <laughs> any like social. Well, I guess etiquette. <laughs> the one you chose not to advance. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have any social skills, uh, Chad. Yep, that's true. <laughs> oh my guy's autistic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, probably. That sounds like where we're going with this character. Um, I don't have any social Caleb, skills to do choose I just from. Give myself a three in will and a six in perception. Do I do uh, it? Sh- yep, yeah, you could. <laughs> it does sound like uh, Olivia and Josh are going to be the will focus characters. I know. So. <laughs> That's literally what I did with Marlena. Up to you. Oh no! I, I don't. I really don't have any social skills to choose from. Except I, etiquette. I just yeah. So as a reminder, Chad, uh, one of those points that you have on that list is a general point that can be spent on a diff- a different skill. So if you like to, take like I a can point make off, it up. It, it, well, yeah, not make it up, but there's a, there's a whole big list of other other. Skills, well, you can right? make up a wise. If yeah, that's true. You can make up a wise. So so if you would like to I have be at Mandalorian least... armor wise, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely. Oh really? Uh huh. Okay. Yep. That's armor, a idea. Would armor wise be enough? Ar- armor wise makes sense. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's a little bit more broad. So you just have to take a point off of something. I will. But I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give is myself. That, is that perception or will? Uh that would be perception. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So you you would just uh, uh looks like you're at minus one there, Chad. Yeah, I know. I'm okay. Okay. Just make just sure. deciding. It also just means that my character is also very <laughs> easily persuadable. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't want cooking. I'll remove cooking. Which honestly kind of fits. It's like, hey, take us to this place. I don't want to. Well, here you go. Take here's a reason. Uh, fine. I'll go. There you, you go with that. Place. Where do you want to put that point instead, Chad? I don't know. I feel like I have to take the last four skills. Yeah, like, they yeah. All go they're, they're all going to go together pretty well. Um, yeah. I have it on cooking, but I don't know if I'm ever going to cook in this game. Yeah. I mean, hey, if, my job, if I it's, cook something, what does it do for the team? Like, well, let's put it, let's put it this way. If, uh, if you're in a situation where you can't just like eat rations, um, you will need someone with a cooking skill uh, to make food. But yeah, I mean, if you're going to have it, like it is my job as the GM to make sure that your guys' skills have chances to like be used. Yeah. So um, I want so if, I don't need if you that. choose it, then feel free. Well, do I um, need textiles if I have armor wise? Um I still think textiles is a fun option for this okay. character because um it's like knowledge of materials and stuff, right? So oh, yeah. there's there's fork forkable opportunities there. You know, fiber weave armor, that sort of stuff. I'm going to put it back into lightsaber. 
Oh yeah, did you, there. you remove it there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. But what oh, else yeah, do I, mean, I need to do? Resource points? Yeah, so let's see, you got your traits covered. Um uh so once uh, attributes and resources we should probably all do together. Um, okay. Because there's some, at least for attributes, there's a bunch of questions I, I need to ask you guys. Um, how are you guys looking on uh, skills and traits there? Haven't started I'll be right back. yet. Traits, okay. um, But we are, uh, I'm just kind of just going over skills with Olivia. She's like, mm -hmm. Cause she has so many points to work yeah, with. Yeah, I know. So, I know, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, you could literally open everything and then just add in points, but I don't know that you want to do that necessarily. Like, you probably, uh -huh. you know, want to just pick, um, yeah, some. I picked a lot. <laughs> um, and she's like, I feel like I've already picked a lot. Um, conspicuous can be helpful sometimes, like if you're trying to draw attention away from, uh -huh. like to yourself, away from other people. But that I is also be inconspicuous. I have to right. be inconspicuous. But you could be both. I'm just saying, right? Well, like well. those are, you know, like you can use them at different times. One, right. You can use them at different times. So it's helpful. They, they are both based on will, though. There. So. Um. Yeah, and usually, especially since you're going to be putting a lot in will, I would open up all the will skills at least. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the since, most bang like, for your buck there, right? That's the most bang for your buck for sure. Okay, um, that's just my opinion. Um, I still need to go through uh, and meditation as well as well. By the way, I just um, changed it. Okay. All right. I, I also went through and should make sure all the ones that are cost two are checked. Um, so that should be accurate now. Okay. Um, I like that you took two fisted fighting. You're gonna have two lightsabers. <laughs> Sounds great. Um, warding is the skill to block lightsaber bolts or um, block blaster bolts, by the way. That's dope. <laughs> I That's think you only have to. I don't know if you advance it. Um, let me double check that. You know, I think you just train it and then it's based it's on your training. will. It yeah, basically gives training. you your shield dice based on your will. I'm going to be like yep, the jack yep. of all trades, the master of none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would choose at least like, you know, two or three skills to have. Uh, more points in like obviously like lightsaber is going to be an easy one to advance more because you know everybody wants to be good with lightsaber uh and then persuasion would probably be another one you want to be good at based on the character concept but yeah then from there from there like you have a lot of points <laughs> olivia is definitely the most overpowered character of the bunch so far that i'm seeing <laughs> uh maybe it, honestly it's probably josh though actually because Josh is always the most overpowered. No, like, yeah, that, that here, is, is he probably, probably Josh. Doing. Mike yeah. like in a he he knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> like, fall. Um, hey, Caleb, can mm -hmm. I, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding this skill correctly. Yeah. Scopes? Um, yeah, it's like looking through scopes. <laughs> like a sniper? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking it up. Um, it's used to calibrate sensors and interpret the data they gather. Different scanners will limit the idiom of your, of your tests. A biometric scanner requires your tasks to be centered around detecting life and its processes, while a ship's sensor array has access to the entire electromagnetic spectrum. So it's, okay, it's so sensors. Okay, so dumb that down for me like I'm in first grade. So the thing about Star Wars, it's sensors. It's like uh, scanning for life forms or, uh, you know, is there another ship nearby? Like you're using scanners on... Like okay. On ships or that on uh, seems helpful, then. devices. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely something you, you have. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, my guy's a Pantoran. He's blue. Nice. He's basically a blue human. Cool. Cool. Yeah, and and, and basically we I, I we can give you uh like a a couple of um cosmetic traits but um yeah I think you're 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 basically yeah exactly you're just blue skin <laughs> that's that'll yeah. be the only difference really all right nice. cool i like it uh but yeah i guess we're while we're waiting here uh chad we can go through the questions on uh on your attributes what else here. do i have to do attributes yeah yeah let's let's go through attributes um so health questions how many so, points do I have? Uh, so it's the they start at a base and then uh, we a ask questions to like determine the final. Okay. Number. So let me pull those up real quick. 
Uh, so for health... Hopefully I answer correctly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to answer honestly is the trick. Um, health questions, okay. Uh, does your character live in squalor or filth? No. Uh, is the character frail or sickly? No. Was the character severely wounded in the past? No. Uh, let's see. I feel like I'm taking a lie detector test. I think, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, uh, Josh, correct me if I'm wrong, it doesn't, um, th uh, are you a dwarf, elf, or orc replaced with something? Yeah, no, they changed it. Um, do, 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 do. I don't believe that a question Is it just like anymore. being a force user gives you? Um, no, because like, ba they basically replaced the, um, hang on, just find it. It should be right else. here. Yeah, thanks. Da, 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 da. Just after hatred. Uh, attributes. Uh, question two no longer applies. Those respective traits do the work already. Oh, yeah, okay. And neither does question five apply regarding immortality. So they just they just delete it? Yeah, so it's deleted. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, is the character athletic and active? Mm, no. <laughs> Good job answering honestly. Um, does the character live in a really clean and happy place like the hills and the sound of music? Uh, I mean, wouldn't that, wouldn't we all answer that the same or no? I, well, it depends on if you're living at the Jedi temple or if you're living, going around like in an apartment. Like, I think you can probably answer yes to that. Yeah. Because I your think last he lives was, in the temple. Yeah, exactly. At, at least up until the start of the campaign, you were living in the equivalent of a really clean and happy yeah. place. Like, yeah. Yes. So you, you can add one to your starting health there. So instead of okay. four, it's a five. Heck uh, yeah. And then, and then for steel, um, okay. has the character taken? Yeah, you. Uh, I think you took Padawan. Uh, it might might depend on. Let me let me just pull up that section because they are modified slightly here. Oh. Uh, Attributes, attributes. Here we go. Steel. Yeah, here we go. Has the character taken a slaver, raider, mercenary, hired gun, Padawan, or soldier type life path? Yeah. yeah took Padawan, so uh, you can add one to steel. So steel okay. goes to from three to four. Um, has the character ever murdered or killed with his own hand? Mm, no. Okay. I don't think has, so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, has the character been tortured, enslaved, or beaten terribly over time? No. Has the character led a sheltered life, free from violence and pain? Yes. All right, reduce steel by one. No! So it's just back to three. Yeah. Uh, has the character been raised in a competitive but nonviolent culture? Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, Jedi. Jedi culture. I get nothing for that? Uh, you get one from that. Uh, oh, okay. One. Uh, you, uh, you have obviously not given birth to a child because I assume your character is male. Um, and then yeah, but uh, what I watch births probably. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't that doesn't increase your steel. Oh, um, you're, it's you are, <laughs> maybe you are attuned. <laughs> uh, you are attuned, so you can raise your steel by one. Okay. Um, and then what's your uh, uh stats at? You're just four and four on your mental stuff, right? Yeah. And your four is four as well. Well, actually, let me see if do I have. I think all of mine are perception, so I'm going to put a five in perception. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Change wheel to three. I think there. the the only thing that changes is, okay, the thing that does change is meditation and telekinesis go from mm -hmm. being twos to ones. So as long as you're okay with that. Meditation and what? Telekinesis are both very bad. Oh. Well, I could just use my lightsaber. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can do that instead. Well, then maybe I drop. Oh, every Jedi has to have the Force. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you can always, you know, fail with them and, <clears throat> and increase them eventually, right? You can also use them as forks and stuff, too. Uh, well, did that make any of my other ones better or no? Um, I don't think so. Not off. Oh, well, then off I'm just going to leave them how I had. Yeah. Yeah. I think that might make sense. In, unless you wanted to make Will a two and make perception a six, I don't think it's uh, worth it. No. 
That would be hilarious, though. <laughs> that really would make you <laughs> autistic if you had a will of two and a perception of six. Um, okay, yeah, so then the only, only other question uh, is for empathy stuff. Um, all three of you guys have empathy. Um, uh, Jedi Sentinel also requires Alyssa to take empathy, so you're all going to have this. Um, so there's no reflex question? Uh, no, no, that just okay. is uh, or the average of your perception, agility, and speed rounded down. I'm going to go look at the stuff I can buy. Yeah, so uh, empathy. Uh, there's some questions here. Oh, okay. To decide starting empathy. Um, all right. Uh, it starts equal to your will in both shade and exponents. So that's a B4. So actually, good thing you didn't rem- make your will. Lower yeah. It helps this too. Um, subtract one for each hateful relationship you have. Do you have a hateful? Are you planning on buying a hateful relationship with anyone, Chad? Uh, with the Mandalorians. <laughs> I don't know. That is, is a, that a thing. It, it, would, it would be like a pers- a specific person that you have like a hateful relationship with. Mm. If you wanted a rival or an enemy or something. Again, this this would be someone you would you would actually have to buy this with the resource points. No, I don't so think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. It doesn't sound like you would. Um, uh, have you enslaved a sem- a sapient creature or deliberately slain one in anything but an act of defense? Droids, droids don't count. I don't know. Maybe I have doing experiments or something. Up to you. Yes. Okay. Which one of those have you done? <laughs> uh, I've, I'm going to say he's killed animals and doing experiments on them. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I guess it, I guess it says sapient. Yeah, it says sapient Is creature. It? So Does that it's mean not smart? animals. It's not oh, animals. Yeah, it has to be like intelligent. Then no. Okay. Uh, subtract Sorry. one if your steel exponent is greater than your will. Uh, y- it is. Yeah. So, uh, it, you subtract one from that, so it's a three instead. That's Basically, lame. the idea the idea being that you've seen too much and your empathy has gone down. You're not as you're just kindly as you once were for, ha- you know, being exposed to the world. Uh, and then subtract one if your character has opened the skills extortion, torture, or Sith doctrine, which you know you haven't. Oh. So. Start with an empathy of three, which is not too bad. Um, as a reminder for all y'all, um, empathy can be used to do fun force things. Um, such as heal people and uh, add dice to self-sacrificial things you do. Uh, if you ever reach 10 empathy, you become a force ghost. <laughs> So yeah. Uh yeah, then this is just resource stuff for you, uh, Chad. Take a look. How you guys doing on skills and traits? I think Olivia's done with her skills. We need to do her traits. Sweet. I'm still working on my skills because I've been trying to explain to her um, how, yeah. like, what a six actually means. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm like, okay, the ob is four, right? So I just explained all that to her. So Sweet. she she gets it now um, and understands oh. forks now, too, yeah, or yeah. kind of understands forks. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so man, Olivia has I'm still 10 working trait on mine. Um, this was a good yeah. character combo. Olivia has a lot of points to work with. It just so happened to be in its way. Yeah. No, it worked. Um, it works pretty well. I only have a one in telekinesis. <laughs> yeah, so does so does Chad. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You help each other and, and you'll have two dice. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um not taking transference. I don't care about healing people. Sorry. Yeah, that's going to be Josh's gimmick. So I don't think anyone else needs to take that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, um, as a as a note, um, for people with low skills and, and like low, low numbers and any skills, um, because you are all going to be together doing stuff, the absolute best way to advance those is going to be help other people, uh, do do that skill. So like whoever yeah. has the highest of it, let them do it and then help them because you're going to get a test to advance the skill whenever you do that. So, like, you guys with ones in telekinesis, like, you're gonna, you just help other people push stuff. <laughs> uh, and then, Chad, uh, page 58 on that star systems. Yeah, document. I found it. Cool. It's gonna, it's gonna, all of you should probably take the citizenship. citizenship. Yeah, you, you gotta be citizens of the Republic for this to make sense. <laughs> Alright. 
But yeah, there's some fun stuff there. And then um, if any of you want um, special gear, like uh, ex you know, extra cool lightsabers or whatever, um, there is another section where you can custom make uh, special gear with, with special things. So if, you, if any of you have a particular... Um, oh, wait, it's Republic Citizen, not Terrorist. Yeah, it'd be Republic Citizenship, yep. Yeah, if any of you any of you wants a special lightsaber or a special piece of gear in any other way, um, let me know. We can burn that up. I'm assuming Josh will just do it by himself, <laughs> and may have already done so. Uh, not yet, but I know what I'm doing with it. Mm -hmm. um, I just also for you because of the funsies, um, yep. Caleb. I am going to take six cents. Okay, yeah. As a trait. Nice. That'll be fun. I have a question. If I want to workshop, it, like if I want a lab, but mm -hmm. Terrace, I already know Terrace is going to get blown up, then how can I do that? Ooh, good point. Um, how much does a ship cost? Vehicles. Because like we could... We can maybe say that you, because like, you know, in theory, you guys have been spending a long time packing everything up into this ship of Alyssa's, right? Is so it going to be say, a ship like the Ebon Hawk? Like, is that basically what we're doing? Uh, something like that. It'll depend on, honestly, I'm, I'm fine with it being whatever Alyssa buys, right? Like, it'll be Alyssa's ship, so. But if it's tiny, wants. then I can't put a lab on it. Yes, I was going to say, if it is tiny, then you will not be able to put a lab in it. Um, let's can we see, combine what, resources? <laughs> To buy a better one. Uh, did, I, 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 let's see. What is what does Alyssa actually even have for resources? That's that's probably the important. Uh, important forty one. Forty one. Okay, that's not bad. I have um, fifty. I'm rich. One. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Um, she will not be able to buy a freighter. The. Um. The largest one she could buy. Yeah, she's probably gonna have to only buy like a shuttle or something or a starfighter but yeah like if all of you are going together it'll probably have to be shuttle um but you know what 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 Alyssa, i think i think we're gonna There's give you some extra today. i think we're gonna we're gonna forgo having to buy a ship we're gonna give you guys a ship for oh. free as part of the part of the campaign concept i think that's more interesting everybody agree but wait, yes. there's more. In exchange, we and have it, to and be instead on the of it, we spend all my resource points. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like say, literally, oh, whatever. Let's the, buy. The, the very <laughs> best ship you could buy is like a starfighter, like a you know an X-wing or something, like something equivalent oh, to that. Yeah. And like, no, you're not going to be able to fit in on that. So <laughs> no. <laughs> like the, the one that would, the only one that would make sense based on your resource points is a shuttle, and that's boring. <laughs> Yes, it is. Thank you. I <laughs> like Palpatine's little shuttle flying around. Right, exactly. Yeah, that would be the equivalent of it. Alyssa, do you know a guy named Jeff Alby that lives really? like in SoCal? Jeff Alby? No. Oh, okay. Because there's this guy named Jeff Alby that used to work with me. He's oh. pretty cool. No, I, um, didn't, actually, I just I it just clicked in my mind that that was your last same name. name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean it's my husband's last name. Too, yeah. But I don't think he has any family. In um SoCal, it's mostly Bay Area. Okay. Oh, actually, those I mean, are the go all the way back to Noah. Are all in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, then probably not. Where are uh, I don't have to buy Isn't a lightsaber, cool right? Uh, you do have to buy a lightsaber. I don't see it. Am I blind? Uh, I think it's um in there. I know that it was expensive enough that uh, poor Jawa could only have one, but. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I think there's like a special section on lightsabers, maybe. Um. Oh, I I think I remember this now. They forgot to put in how much a lightsaber cost. That <laughs> that I I remember talking about this on the Discord. Uh, <laughs> they were like, again, this is like a fan made supplement. Uh people giving them crap for like really of the, all the things you forget you forgot to tell us how much a lightsaber costs Let, I'll, I'll, I should be able to find it again by going to the discord here um, so. can I go look at my old uh, roll 20 That's game crazy. to see what I paid for it uh, yeah you might be able to uh, okay I found it I found it okay 
Um, I want a triple blade and lightsaber. Sorry, which citizenship did we need? Republic. Uh, yeah, Republic. Uh, yeah, Republic citizenship. Um, fifteen resource points for lightsaber. For one lightsaber. Yeah, what I, if I want hey. two? Is uh, it thirty? To, yeah, it's thirty. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep. They're they're expensive, man. <laughs> they're like unique artifacts. <laughs> I'm I'm doing. It. I'm taking two. Okay, just to have like a backup one. I can I use them both at once? I can't. Uh, you you can. Um, there is a special training skill to be able to u- use them uh, effectively. Um, Olivia's character has it. Has that? Like, well, give me her character. <laughs> <laughs> just switch. I I, just I, I, I do say I, at one point I would like to do a campaign or at least a one shot where I, like I have everyone make their characters, then I tell them at the beginning of the session, okay, we're gonna everybody's gonna switch to the person with your left on your left. That be <laughs> that be kind of cool. That'd be fun. It'd be hard, but it, I think it'd be fun. I feel like you could do that with D&D really easily, because then you just yeah. hand over a character sheet. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You know, that'd be fun. We should buy an orbital space station. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find I'm, I'm trying to find where the vehicles are here. How could uh, we possibly even afford that? How do you get 200 resource there, points? There are some of these life paths that really do give you what? one. What? Like Dark I've Lord got of the Sith. <laughs> I was going to say, yep, there you go. 100? <laughs> He he uh, he took like a bunch of affluent life paths. So oh. yeah, I'm I'm affluent. I got 15 from being just being born, um, <laughs> and then I got I got 20 yeah. from Padawan, 45 from being an ambassador, oh. um, and then 23 from being a spy. Yeah, ambassador makes sense. So you you yeah. paid a lot for that. Um, yep. So I'm thinking um, just quickly, yep, um, yep. Caleb. Yep. Um, in my uh, working stuff through the foundry, yep. um, I, I found a thing that one of the obs for making a thing is to make a um, what's it called to make a transmitter is an ob three test. Okay. Um, I but I want to make a comlink mm-hmm. for my cyborg thing. Right. Is should I? Is that an ob two or what? What do you want to do that as? Yeah. It, it, Comlink has like a different thing. Yeah, Comlink is only one RP and it has a mm. range of ten kilometers. And then transmitter pack is eight RPs. Okay. Tools for transmission. Basic two-way transceiver. Passes tools for transmissions. Oh, I guess it's just it's just range. So it's just whatever. Yeah. So you can choose between the those obs. Um, it, the, I think the idea is that it's just how long, how much range you want. Ten kilometers or hundred kilometers. Cool. So- yeah, I'll just run that through. Um, mm-hmm. What are you buying, uh, Chad? I don't know what to buy. Maybe a droid. Yeah, a droid could be fun. It's six. Left. It's it's twenty. It's twenty for a medical droid. Mm. Just get rid of your clothes and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so lame. <laughs> Um, hey Caleb, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah. We were uh, while you were doing traits with them. We were still yep. working on skills. Um, yep. Did you say that you want us to take um, a citizen of the Republic? Uh, y- yeah, as a as a resource thing. Um, but oh, part of needs our resources. To... Yes, okay. yes, that's yes. what I thought. But I for it's some reason I thought thing. you guys yep. were on traits when you were doing nope, that, so nope. I was really confused. Okay. Nope. Yep. So it's a resource. So thing. what kind of ship are you giving us? A star cruiser? I, I think I'm going to give you a light freighter. Okay. Or, or actually, wait. Yeah. What is a star cruiser? What, what does that say? What's the difference between those? Uh, okay. It doesn't. I don't think it has stats for them. Where are they? Frigate. Bomber. Nope. I don't need any of these. Raider. I don't know if they burned up a Star Cruiser. Um, Starliner. Is there a different thing on there for Starliner? Starliner? In, in resources there? I'm wondering if they just named it differently for some reason. I don't see Liner in here. Okay, yeah, I think this is probably what they're assuming. Gunship. Uh, Starliner makes sense. Star Star Cruiser, I think is. I think this is what it's talking about. Um, 
because nothing here looks out of the ordinary and it doesn't have guns, which probably is a good Talk starting point. Uh, well, can we I, add guns? I, I, don't, I don't know if we, yes, you can <laughs> add guns, but I, I think it makes sense that I, I, Alyssa's just a, like a Jedi pilot. I don't know if she needs like a bunch of guns on her ship. Like even the Millennium Falcon have gun, guns on it. It's mm -hmm. true. But that was a freighter, right? Um, I think I'm thinking Starliner. Um, that's the one just very below. Fancy the Starliner is it like funded? like Princess Leia's chrome <laughs> ship? Or uh, well, yeah, that's what I'm. Padme's chrome <laughs> ship. Oh no, that's it... Naboo. That's the Naboo ship. Yeah, Princess Leia's ship is like grungy. I know. That's why I said I corrected. I meant Padme. Yeah, I think that's the one that I want to choose here. Does that makes sense to everybody. Yeah. And yeah. You don't need it. It's not, not like you're. Well, actually, maybe freighter does make sense because um, uh, let's see, cargo hold capacity. Oh uh, no, I guess there's a cargo hold. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do Starliner. Um, I don't. I, you don't need to like haul freight. <laughs> like, so then, not can I have a, Well, me. I can't. I can't buy a workshop because I I only have 19 points. Yeah, you need more points for it. Um, Caleb, can I have a free point? Get caught up. Um, I think Olivia needs some help um, figuring out what she wants to do with traits. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm still trying to figure out mine. Yep, yep. Not a problem. Um, I, I can do that. Some ideas and whatnot. I think she still has five points left to work with. She could just uh, yeah. them that she has on there already. Oh, I have to take Citizen of the Republic. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not. No, no. I, that's is a, that is, that's a trait too. Okay. Uh, let me let no, me check what a, that trait. It, does. It's not. It's not a trait. It's not a trait at all. Oh. It's not. Okay. <laughs> No, we'll just, uh, we yeah. were just confused, so it got yep, added yep. on. Um, cool. But we're good. Um, yeah, real quick, Chad is the literally you just need one point to make that work. Yeah, because uh, and honestly, there's not there's not really anything else that applies yeah. to my character. You, you can I'm take sure. a free a, a free point. That's fine. Okay, that'd be silly to be pedantic about. Uh, okay, yeah. So Olivia, uh, let's see here. Um, I think yeah. sworn to the order you have to take. So let's we'll add that one to you. Can I say it's portable, or is it going to fit on the ship? I think it can fit on the ship as the idea. Okay, okay, we'll okay. say that right now it is it is fixed on the ship. You'll have okay. to like do some extra work okay. to get it out of the ship. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Now, wait, um, Caleb, sworn to the order says it costs five. Is that still accurate? No, so any life path traits automatically cost one, one. no matter okay, what awesome. the book says. Okay. Yep. That's what I thought. They all Just cost one. Sorry. Continue. Uh, so yeah, let's, Olivia, let's look at the ones that are on here and see if any of them interest you. Um, Quickened Pulse. Could be fun. Let's take a look. Let's Three, four, that. two. I get the proper, uh, the proper cost for knighthood and empathy too. Yeah, they're all. They all should be one. Yep. They oh, all really? should be one. Yeah. Yep. Good. They all should be one. Yeah. Yep. As long as it's a life. As long as it's with it your life path, added from your life path. Yep. It costs one. Um, but you only have to add the first one. Now, if it's required though for a different one, then you do have to take that. So, like me, for example, I have to take empathy, even though it wasn't one of the first two because, yes and, and you also have to take empathy uh because your last life path requires oh, yeah. it as well mm -hmm. um, all, all three of you have have a uh a life path that requires empathy so empathy. uh so quick impulses would be one possible one uh let's see uh the re it reads there was a moment of electric hesitation between them their eyes flashed and fenced but when the assassin lunged it was too late this the thin man was already at his throat this trait allows the character to round up when factoring reflexes Let's see if that would matter for you. It might. It might matter. Um, reflexes is factored from perception, agility, and speed. The average of those three rounded down. Um, what do you got right now? Perception four, agility six, speed four. It. I don't think. I think it's. I don't think uh, rounding up will change that. If one of them was an, oh, was an uneven number, then it would probably change it. But I, I don't think it will change it. Um, so that's you, you could get it. I don't. It's not helpful to you though. Um, so I, you could probably ignore that one. Um, I assume you don't want missing limb, especially because you chose two lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're using one of them in your mouth. Um, I, I think uh, probably one will avoid. Um, you probably don't want to take hatred. I assume that's the like Sith dark side stuff. Um, so fearless would be the other one to consider. That could that's a fun one. Um that one. This character is practically immune to fear. Reduce hesitation for pain, fear, and shock of gore or death by three. So it just it helps you um resist 
being stunned by stuff like like failing like your nerve failing in a moment of weakness uh that's it's definitely useful and it only yeah. costs one point i'll probably just take that one sounds good and then we got three points left let's take a look at what might be fun to choose there's some fun ones just in the pdf here let's see anything below a three or three or below yeah, so um, a die trait or a call on trait are good to have because those yeah. help you with um it either gives you like an extra die to like um like I wanna uh, am I saying this right, Caleb? Uh to like mm -hmm. I wanna find somebody. Okay, roll a circles test and then no 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 wait, no, sorry. I'm not explaining this well at what, all. What what are you trying to explain? Call ons? Uh I was trying to explain die traits, but I can explain call ons a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, a, what a, a die trait just means there's some mechanical effect as opposed to a character trait, which is there is no mechanical effect. It's just something that's true about you. Um, like Prominent Scar, for example. There's nothing mechanical that happens there. You just have a scar. <laughs> um, mm. And then uh, call-on traits are like you get to re-roll tests that fail. Um, but you have a Dispute Settler, for example. That's a call-on trait. Um, so basically, if you fail a Persuasion test for whatever reason, as long as you're trying to settle a dispute, you can re-roll the test or re-roll failed dice on the test to try to try again and, and try to succeed on the persuasion test. Uh, once per session, you can do that. Um, so I, I'm going to take a look at the book here and see if there's any that jump out to me that seem fun. Um, you could take Driven. Driven is a call-on trait that allows you to... Um, you get to choose a skill that it's a call on for. So for example, if you wanted to, if you, if, if the, your drive was for, uh, for the trait, you have to choose like a belief that it's attached to. If you, uh, cho if you were really passionate about stopping the Mandalorians, you could cho choose the driven trait. Uh, I could buy this and then, uh, choose lightsaber for the skill it's attached to. And then if you're trying to fight the Mandalorians and you fail a lightsaber test, you could reroll the failed, uh, failed dice on the test because I need to stop the Mandalorians, right? So that's a fun one because you can choose the skill for it. Uh, if, you're, if you feel like your character is particularly driven in any particular way, uh, that's a fun choice. Um, does jump out to you immediately as one you want or we can keep scrolling? <laughs> yeah, that one sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a good one. It costs three? It costs two. So you have one left over after that. Um, do you want what do you have an idea for what skill you would want to choose for it? A skill different than the trait? Yeah, it, you could do something other than lightsaber. It doesn't have to be a lightsaber. It could be any of your skills. I, it was just an example, right? So the way that, that tr the call on works is basically this particular one is instead of it just being like, um, this is a call on for this skill and it's already baked into the, the trait. Uh, this one allows you to choose a skill based on something that your character cares passionately about. So you'd have to make up something and we could, we could decide this later. We don't have to decide this now. Um, I was just curious if, if you had a particular skill you wanted to be really good at and wanted to attach this trait to, then you would just have to make up some prerequisite belief about like, so if, as I gave as the example, right? Like um, I really hate the Mandalorians. And so I'm driven with my lightsaber to stop the Mandalorians. Um, that's one example. But yeah, we, we don't have to decide that now. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, one point left. Uh, easy thing to do is just to buy a character trait for one point. Um, just something that happens to be true about your character that doesn't give any mechanical effect. I don't know if there's a whole lot of other skills. I suppose you could uh, buy the trait illiterate for one point, uh, <laughs> but I don't think you want that. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, here's, a, here's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> you can buy the lost trait if you want your character to get lost all the time. Uh, that could be fun. Um, there are some character traits here that could be interesting based on your waif wayfaring knight life path. Um, listless or lonesome. There's just character traits, so they do just tell us something about your character. Um, I am curious about that. Um, like if you have anything like that based on you wandering around the outer rim for a while. Um, this is a good example because because all character traits just cost one point and you can make them up too. This is a good opportunity to just be like, here's something that's true about my character. And let's just add an adjective here, <laughs> right? That's true. Um, but I'll keep scrolling. I guess it's kind of lonely. Yeah, I mean, lonesome is a fun one, right? Like, uh, and that immediately tells us something like, and you can play to it in the game and get 
fate points for it, like the the kind of reward system of the game, um, when your character gets into trouble for being lonesome, right? If you if you're you know regularly like avoiding help, uh, getting help from other people, like that sort of stuff, uh, that's that can be a fun dynamic character wise that we can play with in the game. Um, do I do that? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so you can go ahead and add lonesome in there, and it costs one. Um, I Caleb, like it. Mm-hmm. I think I am going to take the connected um, trait. Yeah. Nice. Um, I think that makes sense for a pilot to have connections. Oh, yeah. So, sure. um, you know, a guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know a guy. So I think I have to pick, though, I have to pick. Um, you may add one of the following new settings to your circles. Yep. Glittering Spires, Palace, Military, or Space Faring. I would maybe choose Glittering Spires. Um, that's Terrace, right? Uh, does that make sense, though, to have connections on a planet that's bl- being blown up? Well, it, well, it's other planets that are also gl- have Glittering Spires, like Coruscant, right? Okay, sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, okay. I, I just it just makes sense for if you had visited Terrace plenty of times, right? Uh, sure. That you would have connections in places like those. Um, like I don't know palace or military if that makes as much sense, right? Um, based on your character concept. Okay, and then um, we need to go through the health, skill, and reflex. Um, yes, yes. Well, well, yeah, we'll do that for you guys right now. Um, all right. So health. So it should have a a, a number it gives you automatically there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, that's the starting point. Yep. And then the questions are: Does the character live in squalor and filth? No. I think I live in filth, but I wouldn't say I'm cleanly in a nice starship. Uh, yeah, I think you're fine. I, I don't think it's don't, quite yeah. as bad. Yeah, yeah. So, so no, no change there. Was the character severely wounded in the past? Mine has a scar. So probably. you do have a scar. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. So you got to subtract one from your uh, from your health there. Um, has the character been tortured and enslaved? I don't think so. Yeah. No. I don't think so. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, and yeah, Chad, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll try to wrap up here in a in a minute. Um, I okay, think we're cool. close to being done for everybody, so um, we could probably bring it to a close here. Um, is the character athletic and active? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you can both add one to your health. And does does the character live in a really clean and happy place like the hills and the sound of music? I think the answer is no for both of you because no. you've both been wondering. So, uh, all right, then steel uh, starts as a th- starts at a three, um, and then uh, have you, you've both taken Jedi Knight and Padawan life path, so you can add one to steel automatically there. Um, and then, have you ever been severely wounded? Uh, you answered yes to that there, so you can actually add one to your steel for answering that question this way. You got one less on your health, but one more on your steel. Um, has your character ever murdered or killed with his own hand more than once? Mm-hmm. Possibly. Again, could be in self-defense. It's not, and you don't have to have murdered them. I think mine probably has. I've got two lightsabers. I, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you can both add steel, uh, add one to the steel for that as well. Uh, we already said no to torture enslaved. Um, I don't think either of you have lived a sheltered life. Um, you have been raised in a competitive culture, um, so you raise steel by one. Okay. Uh, have either of you given birth to a child? No, probably. I don't okay. think so. I figured, but I just thought I'd ask. Uh, Jedi aren't supposed to be in love. <laughs> well, yeah, they're not supposed to be in love. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, um, uh, you are. Are Jedi to- allowed to have children? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, as according, okay, according to there's obviously different interpretations of this, but according to George Lucas, uh, they're allowed to have sex, they're just not allowed to have attachments. <laughs> what? So, yeah, that's not healthy. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> no, at all. It's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, all right. We, we also can. I was say because own... you know you can you know just have children and not be attached to them, right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. Absolutely. Terrible. Just donate them to the Jedi Order. Right. Exactly. Probably. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're uh, you're both attuned uh, to the Force, so you can both raise your steel by one. Um. What is your guys's perception at? Uh, mine's at a six. You can raise your steel by one. Oh, mine's at four. Okay, so you do not raise your steel there. 
Uh, anyone have a will of five or higher? Um, am I allowed to have an eight in steel? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I have a will of six. All right. So you can raise your steel by one as well. And I, only, I think it's only Josh who has a four of six or higher. So I, I think, I think that's it there. Uh, and then lastly, All right. that does give you an extra one, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah I don't three. have a, no, I only have a four of three. You have a four of four. <laughs> Uh, all right. So then, uh, lastly would be empathy. Um, so that your your um, uh, it sh- there should be a spot there that says EA one next to in the attributes. Uh huh. Um, mm-hmm. go ahead and put uh whatever your will number is there as the starting point. So the same number as your will, and this will be for empathy. Uh, write in empathy as the name of this. Oh, okay. Um, this is like the light side of the force, basically. Okay. Uh, and then um, do e- either of you? have or plan on buying in resources uh, a hateful relationship with anyone an enemy or a rival okay uh have you enslaved or deliberately slain a sapient creature in anything but an act of defense i don't think so okay so just defense okay uh is your steel greater than your will yes uh the uh, yeah. subtract empathy by one uh, and then none of you have opened extortion, torture, or Sith doctrine. So um, n- no no other change there. I think you all start with a three in in empathy. So Two. Cool. Oh, you have a two? Oh, right, because you're, you're still... My will is so low. Oh, your will is so low. Right, right. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, lastly would be resources, um, but... And, and I, th- I think I'll plan on giving you guys a star liner. Um, we can figure out resources and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. I think we can probably wrap up the like everyone right. here for stuff right now. Yeah. Um, and then you can ch- buy stuff with resource points. Feel free to let me know um what you want to buy. I'm I'm ha- happy to just stay on for a little bit longer and and do stuff if if you guys want to. Uh, yeah. and then the thing to 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 do between like the homework that I actually have for you guys between now and whatever we decide to play first, whenever we can figure that out. Uh, is we need to come up with beliefs and instincts for your character. Um, so beliefs being uh, usually in two parts, something your character believes in strongly and what they're going to do about it in the immediate. Uh, and then instincts are something your character does instinctually without thinking about it, such as an always, never, or if-then statement. So always have my lightsaber on me. Never take crap from Mandalorians. Uh, right? Uh, if I see a Mandalorian, I... Blades first, questions later, right? Like, those are all instincts. So, uh, we'll we'll have to make those up uh, between next, uh, now and whenever we play. And uh, if you have any questions on any of that, feel free to message. But I think that we'll probably wrap that up for... uh, We need at least two of each? Uh, At least one of each. Oh, okay. uh, You get more Artha if you have more. So, you know, more chances to to earn points and stuff. All right, cool. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out and making characters. I'm excited. I think we got a good uh, situation here. I'll, I'll probably make a bunch of Mandalorian character sheets and get some st- stuff set up for next time. And we'll, we can talk in the Discord about uh, when we can actually start. Cool stuff. Sweet.